If you like the story you can support the author on Patreon link is in the description. Chapter 51, Destroying the Bridge of Thunder Moon After a period of rest, they started to act again. The Land of Moon and Land of Thunder share a large area of border, but most of it is blocked by high mountains. There are only a few roads that can be passed smoothly, and their target this time is the largest one, which is also the one most often used by the Kumagakura Ninja. That place is called the Bridge of Thunder Moon. Although the name contains the word bridge, it can be said that it has nothing to do with a bridge, because the Bridge of Thunder Moon is a canyon. They want to destroy the cliffs on both sides of the canyon, causing the rocks to completely block the road in the canyon. By the time the Kumagakura Ninja opens up this canyon again, it will waste a lot of time. With this time, they might be able to start a battle that leads to the end of the war in Kanahagakura. At this time, a few of them were already lying on the cliff of the Bridge of Thunder Moon, waiting for the right time to destroy this Bridge of Thunder Moon. There are five ninja squads guarding below, probably with Jonin, but I felt that a Jonin's chakra was particularly violent, just observing me made me feel a great pressure. Haigaiki looked at the direction of the Bridge of Thunder Moon with his Byakugan and said, unconsciously a few drops of cold sweat appeared on his cheeks. Obviously, the person with violent chakra all over his body gave him a great pressure. I didn't expect it to be him. Satoru thought in surprise in his heart, and also realized that this matter is very troublesome. This person is the candidate for the fourth Reikage, who has already inherited the title of AI, the son of the third Reikage. Hmm. At this time, AI suddenly frowned and looked towards the direction of the cliff. What's wrong, AI-sama? A Kumagakura ninja asked cautiously. Nothing, it seems like I was being watched, but it might be my illusion. It should be impossible, but the front line did send us a message, a Kanahagakura ninja squad has invaded our rear, it seems that their target should be the bridge of Thunder Moon that we are guarding. The analysis of that Jonin is not bad at all. But this is also a very easy to understand thing, after all, they are also doing similar things, they also sent a ninja squad to infiltrate the rear of the Kanahagakura frontline troops, wanting to destroy the route between Land of Fire and the Land of Hot Water. After all, if the normal marching route is destroyed, it will greatly extend the time for the other party's support troops and supplies. Humph, if they dare to come, let them have no return. AI said arrogantly. By the way, where is that guy now? Then, AI asked. We don't know where Killer B is, he disappeared directly after supporting the frontline troops. That guy. Upon hearing this, AI was immediately angered and gritted his teeth. After catching that Kanahagakura squad, I will personally catch him and give him a good lesson. And Hayagaiki was lying on the cliff, panting heavily. What's wrong? Narayoshi asked. Such a keen perception, I was almost discovered, that Kumagakura ninja's strength should not be weaker than Orochimaru-sama. After taking a deep breath, Hayagaiki slowly said. What? Hearing what Hayagaiki said, all three of Inoshikacho showed an incredulous expression. Did the Kumagakura ninja actually send such a strong combat power here? This is a bit difficult. Then, everyone looked at Satoru. Wait until tonight, install a large amount of explosives on the cliff, as for that guy, just leave it to me to deal with. Although Satoru also knows that his current strength may not be AI's opponent, but he should be able to hold the other party for a while, leaving Ichigo and the others a time to retreat, by then he can also retreat from AI's hands. After all, no matter how fast AI is, he can't be faster than his instant movement. But this time the opponent is not the same level as before. Everyone looked at Satoru with concern. Don't worry, I never do anything I'm not sure about. Soon, the sky gradually darkened, and everyone started to take action. Narayoshi directly used her family's secret technique to install the explosives using shadows. Yamanaka also used the Yamanaka clan's secret technique to transfer her mind to a Kumagakura ninja using this Kumagakura ninja's identity to install the explosives. Hayagaiki also used the Byakugan to find their patrol loopholes, his figure constantly appearing in various corners of the cliff, and immediately left after installing the explosives. As for Akimichi Tezo, he was preparing to support everyone. After about an hour, everyone finally installed the explosives. Now, as long as they pull the line, all the connected explosives will explode instantly. The falling rocks produced by hundreds of explosives are enough to fill half of this canyon. At this moment, AI suddenly felt a panic, and his face instantly became ugly. What's wrong, AI-sama? A ninja on the side noticed AI's abnormality and asked. 
I don't know why, but I always have a bad feeling in my heart. A.I. said, clutching his heart. Order people to strengthen the patrol of the Bridge of Thunder Moon. There must be no accidents here. Yes, Lord A.I., I will order it right away. Before this ninja could leave the temporarily built camp, a series of explosions suddenly reached the ears of this group of Kumagakur ninja. A.I. rushed out of the tent in an instant, knowing that the bad premonition in his heart had come true. He saw a series of fires appearing in A.I.'s pupils, and a series of huge rocks kept falling, and even one was heading straight for A.I.'s head. A.I.'s whole body suddenly showed blue chakra, sometimes accompanied by the flicker of thunder and lightning. This is the lightning armor that only the rakage can master. With just one punch, A.I. shattered the huge rock above his head. The rest of the Kumagakur ninja saw this scene and began to flee in panic. Everyone, leave the Bridge of Thunder Moon immediately. A.I. shouted anxiously, knowing that under the current situation, the Bridge of Thunder Moon has been destroyed, and what he can do is to find the people who destroyed the Bridge of Thunder Moon, and then kill them, to resolve his hatred for losing the Bridge of Thunder Moon this time. Using the gaps in the falling rocks, A.I. immediately jumped onto the cliff. He knew that the feeling of being watched today was not wrong. The people of Kanahagakur had already arrived here, and the most likely place for them to hide was on the cliff. And even if it's not on the cliff, he can also use the high place to carefully observe the other party's hiding place. Sure enough, when A.I. jumped to a cliff that had not yet fallen, he found the Kanahagakur people who were running away quickly. Kanahagakur, you have no chance to run. A.I. shouted directly. Not good, we've been exposed. Hayagaiki and a few others couldn't help but speed up their escape. Even though they had already left far away, they still felt a great pressure coming from the other party. Chapter 52, Satoru vs AI Suddenly, a large amount of lightning flashed on AI's body, and then his whole figure seemed to become a ray of lightning in an instant, quickly rushing towards a few people. And now they dare not look back at all, doing this kind of speed-reducing behavior. Tisk, it's not that simple to escape after all. Satoru grumbled, they had already detonated the explosives at the farthest point, but unexpectedly, they were still caught up so quickly by the other party. You guys go first, I'll cover the rear. With that, Satoru turned around and stopped. He had already seen how fast the other party was when he was facing away from AI just now. Now Satoru had only stopped for less than three seconds, and AI had already rushed to Satoru's front, raised his fist, and directly bombarded Satoru's face seemingly not intending to give Satoru a chance to breathe at all. To think they would let such a brat carry out this kind of task, it seems Kanahagakura is really finished. While attacking Satoru, AI was still thinking this in his heart. But in the next second, something that AI couldn't understand happened in front of him. AI was directly shocked by the scene and widened his eyes. He found that his fist couldn't touch Satoru's body. I can't touch. My fist seems to be blocked. It can't be said to be blocked, it can only be said that the closer you get to me, the greater the resistance. Satoru seemed to see what AI was thinking in his heart, and then explained his ability. When the Third Great Ninja War started, Satoru had already predicted that his ability would definitely be exposed. Upon hearing this, AI quickly retreated a long distance, his eyes vigilant as he watched Satoru. He found that this little devil was not as simple as he seemed. Do you want to use yourself to buy time for them to escape? A.I. saw Satoru's intention at a glance. That's right. As he spoke, Satoru took off his eye mask. Although the eye mask couldn't block his vision, when he got serious, he still liked to take off the eye mask, because for him, the eye mask was a seal he gave himself. These eyes? Keki I Genkai? Not Byakugan, nor Sharingan, it seems that Kanahagakura is indeed a place where talents come forth, and a new Keki I Genkai has appeared. AI naturally noticed the difference in Satoru's eyes, and felt a bit of jealousy and envy in his heart. Although their Kumagakur ninja also had Kekiai Genkai, it was too few. Unlike Kanahagakur, there are two big clans with Kekiai Genkai directly, and now a new Kekiai Genkai user has appeared. Then let me see, what kind of ability does your Kekiai Genkai have? With that, AI rushed towards Satoru again, his speed was as fast as a flash of lightning, and in the blink of an eye he had already appeared in front of Satoru. The speed of his punch was also extremely fast, but the result was still the same as last time. When his fist was about to touch Satoru, it seemed to be blocked by something again. He could feel that he was getting closer and closer to the other party, 
but it seemed to be getting farther and farther away. Is this the ability of your Kekiai Genkai? This is simply absolute defense. Ai's heart sank a bit, and at the same time, he had made up his mind that he absolutely couldn't let this little devil leave alive, because he wasn't sure if the other party's Kekiai Genkai had the potential to grow. If it could really become stronger, then when this little devil grows up, it would definitely be a big trouble for their Kumagakur ninja in the future. You could say that. Then let's see how long your Kekiai Genkai can hold up. Then, AI launched a crazy attack on Satoru, from the front, back, left, and top, but Satoru just stood there, not moving at all. In just a few seconds, AI had no idea how many times he had attacked Satoru, but every time it was in vain. How is this possible? AI was shocked, every use of a Kekiai Genkai has its limits, and it consumes chakra. And logically, the stronger the Kekiai Genkai, the more chakra it consumes. So AI thought that Satoru's perverted Kekiai Genkai must consume a lot of chakra, but now, there is no way to see any signs of fatigue on Satoru's body. But your Kekiai Genkai also has a weakness, right? That is, it can't launch an attack. So what do you want to do? Satoru's eyes narrowed. If you only defend and don't attack, you can't hold me back. After saying that, AI turned into a flash of lightning and quickly swept past Satoru. Curse technique lapse, blue dot. AI's heart suddenly felt a huge sense of crisis, and then forced his body to stop, and a deep pit appeared in front of him. If he had continued to move forward just now, he might have been absorbed by blue. I hope you don't act so recklessly. The next second, Satoru appeared directly in front of AI. When did you? AI widened his eyes, incredulously looking at Satoru, he didn't know when Satoru appeared at all, which could only explain two situations, the first one, Satoru's speed has exceeded her visual capture limit, the second one, that is, space ninjutsu. If it's the second kind, it's okay, but if it's the first kind, AI finds it hard to accept, he doesn't believe that in the entire ninja world, anyone's speed can surpass his. Since you want me to launch an attack, then you better be prepared for action. Satoru stretched out his palm to AI, and that strong sense of crisis emerged in AI's heart again, and he really moved his position. Sure enough, the next second, where AI was standing just now, a deep pit appeared under his feet. But Satoru's attack did not end, wherever AI passed, there were traces of blue on the ground, but each one was dodged by AI. What kind of attack is this? Now AI is more and more convinced that Satoru cannot be left, he must be resolved, otherwise it is really endless trouble. I really hate you fast ninjas. Satoru said somewhat helplessly, although the speed of blue release is also very fast, but some fast enough ninjas can completely dodge it. But standing and getting beaten is not AI's style, he is also constantly moving towards Satoru's direction, sees the opportunity to give Satoru a punch, he feels that there will always be a chance to catch Satoru's flaws. But the idea is beautiful, the reality is skinny, after fighting for so long, he didn't even touch Satoru's clothes, this can be said to be the most suffocating time AI has ever fought. Well, the time should be almost up, they should have gone far. Satoru was silently estimating the time in his heart, he had been holding AI for almost 10 minutes, this 10 minutes was enough for them to travel a lot of distance. I won't play with you this time, see you next time if we are destined. Stop. AI immediately understood what Satoru meant by this sentence, shouted, but how could Satoru listen to him? He directly teleported and disappeared in front of AI. Chapter 53, The Eight Tails Appears Again Did we escape? Everyone returned to the hidden cave they had been hiding in before, panting heavily, and a sense of fear rose in their hearts. But I didn't expect Satoru, your strength is really strong, you were able to successfully escape from that monster. Akimichi Tezo sincerely said to Satoru, he also greatly respected Satoru in his heart. If he were to face that monster, he might not be able to hold on for even a minute. Now we can report to Orochimaru-sama that the mission is completed. Narayoshi said. Okay. Then Yamanaka Dukai took out a scroll, used the summoning technique, and a small white snake appeared in front of everyone in an instant. Then Yamanaka wrote the main experience of this mission on a blank scroll and stuffed it into the belly of the little white snake. After that, the little white snake disappeared from everyone's sight. Now it's time for us to think about how to leave here. Then, Narayoshi spoke again. After all, they are now in the rear of the Kumagakur ninja, and they don't know when they will be discovered by the Kumagakur ninja again, 
and they are always in a very dangerous situation. This time we destroyed the Bridge of Thunder Moon, the Kumagakur Ninja will definitely be more vigilant, and it's not easy to retreat from the front line again. Narayoshi drew a simple sand map on the ground, trying to find the most suitable place to leave. Captain Hotaki, what do you think? Which direction should we retreat from? This question is up to you, after all, you are the brains of our entire team. Satoru casually sat on the side, leaning against the stone wall, his face looked a bit tired. The battle with AI just now was not as easy as it seemed, and it consumed him a lot. He felt that if AI were to punch him a few more times, he might not be able to use the infinity technique. AI's every punch attack was getting closer and closer to Satoru's body. And AI, who returned to the camp, was there in a rage, but the only thing he was grateful for was that this time their Kumagakur ninja did not have any casualties, although there were some injuries. Did even AI-sama not catch up with them? It seems that the Kanahagakura squad does have some abilities. Seeing AI's gloomy face when he returned, these Kumagakura ninja naturally knew what had happened. That little devil. The image of Satoru, the white-haired little devil with a pair of special pupils, kept appearing in AI's mind. He had a premonition that this little devil would definitely become a big enemy of Kumagakura in the future. But even now, AI has not found a way to crack the other party's Kekiai Genkai. Order all Kumagakura ninja to pay attention to a white-haired Kanahagakura little devil wearing an eye mask. Once his whereabouts are discovered, report to me immediately. Yes, AI-sama. What he was thinking at this moment was that Satoru must not be allowed to grow up smoothly. Yo, big brother, why are you guys here? At this time, a black-skinned little devil suddenly appeared next to everyone, speaking in a hip-hop tone. As soon as he saw this person, AI was immediately furious. B, you bastard, where have you been? He directly activated the lightning armor mode and punched Bai in the head. Yo, bastard big brother, why are you hitting me? B, who was squatting on the ground holding his head, said very unhappily, but he didn't dare to fight back against AI. All right, all right, Lord AI, calm down, isn't B Sama back now? The Kumagakura ninja on the side quickly laughed and pulled away. B, use the tailed beast bomb and then blast a path for me at the Thunder Moon Bridge, no, blast this place flat for me. AI immediately said to B. He wants to completely open the border between Land of Thunder and Land of Moon, so that Kanahagakur can no longer carry out such operations. Okay, leave it to me. After saying that, eight octopus legs grew out from behind B, and then his body immediately grew larger, directly turning into a tailed beast mode, eight tails, Jiki. Just as Jiki's big mouth opened, Red and blue chakra immediately condensed into a small ball above it, and it kept expanding. Tailed Beast Bomb As Jiki's voice came out, the Tailed Beast Bomb was directly shot out from Jiki's mouth, and the Thunder Moon Bridge that had been blocked immediately exploded, and the terrifying firelight rushed into the sky, even Satoru and others in the distance felt this strong breath. Everyone hurriedly ran out of the cave to check, only to see a huge explosion in the distance, they could feel the terrifying heat wave here. What, what's going on? Everyone was dumbfounded looking at this scene, this distance has already exceeded the range of the Byakugan, so Hayagaiki doesn't know what happened. Only Satoru lifted a corner of the eye mask, and looked at the direction of the explosion with a serious face. The mission failed. These three words slowly came out of Satoru's mouth. What happened, Captain Hotaki? Narayoshi hurriedly asked, before they left, they had clearly confirmed that the Thunder Moon Bridge was blocked, but now why did the mission fail? Could it be that explosion? Narayoshi suddenly thought. Yes, Kumagakura Ninja used the power of the tailed beast, directly blasted everything around the Thunder Moon Bridge, and there is no barrier between Land of Thunder and Land of Moon. This. Everyone took a breath, all of them didn't know what to say, they worked hard to complete the task, but they didn't expect it to be resolved so simply by the other party. Send the information back to Orochimaru-sama again, and wait for Orochimaru-sama's next instruction. Yes, Captain Hotaki. And on the side of the Kumagakura ninja, they cheered. Killer B, who had exited the tailed beast state, was panting heavily. Because he had just mastered the complete tailed beast transformation state, he couldn't fully control it yet, and using a tailed beast bomb was already the limit. If he forcibly transformed into a tailed beast again, he might be invaded by the brutal chakra of the tailed beast. Sure enough, Killer B is really amazing. Those Kumagakura ninja immediately complimented Killer, 
if they wanted to reopen the Thunder Moon Bridge, it would take a lot of effort. Now it's done in just a few seconds, which can't help but make people sigh, the power of the tailed beast. Well done, B. AI directly patted B on the shoulder. And at the borderline of Kanahagakur, Orochimaru, who had just received the news of the task completion from Satoru, then a little white snake crawled over and conveyed the news of the task failure. Orochimaru, who had just smiled not long ago, his face immediately became cold. What's wrong, Orochimaru-sama? Narayakumo also asked on the side. The mission failed, Kumagakur Ninja used eight tails to forcibly level the Thunder Moon Bridge. Chapter 54, Dispatch to Other Battlefields Before long, they received another order from Orochimaru, ordering them to withdraw directly. Now they have no way to carry out the task of destroying the Thunder Moon Bridge, because it has been destroyed by the Eight Tails. If we want to avoid being discovered by the Kumagakur Ninja, then we can only go from the land of rice fields. However, this may waste some time, but at least, the safety can be improved to a certain extent. Narayoshi spoke up. Although the land of moon and the land of rice fields do not border each other, they can take a boat to the land of rice fields. If that's not possible, they can only run across the sea. After Narayoshi expressed her opinion, she looked at Satoru, as if waiting for Satoru to make a decision. All right, then let's take a detour to the land of rice fields, and then return to the land of hot water from the land of rice fields. Hitaki Satoru thought about it and found that this plan had no flaws. The only drawback is that it takes a longer time. And the frontline troops of the Kumagakur Ninja will definitely strengthen their patrols. They have done such a big thing. Although the crisis of the Thunder Moon Bridge has been lifted, they will never let Satoru and his party go. Let's set off now. Yes. When dusk fell, a few people took advantage of the night as a cover, and ran all the way to the border of the Land of Moon, then neatly made a raft, and left the Land of Moon directly. After three days, everyone returned to the territory of the Land of Hot Water in a dusty manner, successfully returned to the position of Kanahagakur. Although it was only a few days, for Hayagaiki and others, it was no less than a round trip from the Gate of Ghosts. I heard about your deeds in the report, you did a good job, you can block AI of Kumagakur by yourself, it seems that your strength is stronger than we expected. After seeing Orochimaru, Orochimaru directly praised Satoru, and his curiosity about Satoru grew stronger in his heart. He naturally knows what the title AI means to the Kumagakur ninja, and he naturally knows what it is to inherit the title AI, so he is surprised that Satoru can come back from the opponent's hands. But the mission still failed. It's enough, you have destroyed the Thunder Moon Bridge once, the S-Class mission has been completed, but next is the protracted battle with the Kumagakur ninja. This war, at least one year will be needed to end, you can be prepared to suffer. Yes, Orochimaru-sama. And be careful recently. According to the people we have planted in the Kumagakur Ninja, all the Kumagakur Ninja should pay special attention to a white-haired kid from Kanahagakur wearing an eye mask. Presumably, that person is you. Be vigilant at all times to prevent being assassinated. Yes, I will be careful. In wartime, the assassination of the main force of the other side is nothing new. The Kanahagakur will also execute assassination tasks against the enemy ninja village from time to time but very few can succeed. Most of the final results are losing both the wife and the soldiers. Of course, other ninja villages also perform this kind of assassination task, almost all of them are in this situation. For example, if the Kumagakur ninja wants to execute the assassination of Orochimaru, not only do they have to break through the heavy defenses of Kanahagakur, they also have to pay attention to the people around them, and they must have good strength, and they must be able to kill with one blow. Otherwise, if it causes a commotion, they can only commit suicide. All right, you go down and rest. Yes. As soon as Satoru walked out of the tent, a group of people immediately surrounded him, including Satoru's former teachers and teammates, as well as those who carried out this mission. Satoru, it's great that you can come back safely. Masahiro hugged Satoru as soon as he saw him, his voice choked up a bit. When he knew that Satoru was going to carry out such a dangerous mission, he was really afraid that he would lose another teammate. Haha, <laughs> but I still think it's better for you to let me go, or your actions will make others misunderstand my sexual orientation. Satoru's words instantly broke the touching atmosphere. You, my sexual orientation is also normal. But after Satoru's joke, the atmosphere was indeed much more relaxed. Congratulations, Satoru, 
you have completed the first S-Class mission in your life, but this is just a beginning, don't be arrogant because of this mission. Nakajima-sensei reminded Satoru. I understand, Nakajima-sensei. But it's good to be able to come back safely. Nakajima showed a relieved expression on his face, patted Satoru on the shoulder, having a student like Satoru can be said to be the luckiest thing in his life. The war is still going on, and there will be ninja casualties every day. Although they are fighting every day, there has been no large-scale conflict. In this way, this small-scale conflict has lasted for more than a year. In this more than a year, I don't know how many Kumagakura ninja have died in Satoru's hands. Those Kumagakura ninja also understand what it means to pay attention to the white-haired kid with an eye mask. That is simply a demon who wanders in every corner of the battlefield and kills without blinking. Now, among the Kumagakura ninja, Satoru has a very loud nickname, White Devil. Whenever you encounter the White Devil, if there are not five jonin in the team, withdraw immediately. Of course, this does not mean that the combat power of five jonin can defeat Satoru, but that five jonin can barely ensure their own safety by working together. And even if they retreat, it depends on whether Satoru's mood is good or not. If it's good, they might let them go. If it's not good, even if the other party has the intention to retreat, there is no chance to retreat. Now Satoru is considered a hero in the hearts of these Kanahagakura ninjas. Many ninjas have been saved by Satoru. It can be said that if there is no Satoru, they will definitely suffer more casualties. Captain Hotaki, Orochimaru-sama summons you. Okay, I know. Although Satoru has not yet mastered the cursed technique reversal, he feels that the time to master the technique reversal does not seem to be that long. Orochimaru-sama, are you looking for me? Well, the village has decided to send you to other battlefields. Now the Kumagakura ninja does not put the main target on us, so staying here is a waste of your combat power. Other battlefields? Where? Sunagakura or Iwagakura? If possible, Satoru still hopes to go to the Iwagakura. Because his younger brother Kakashi is on the battlefield there, Satoru has heard some news about Kakashi in this year, and has also made outstanding achievements, and may soon be promoted to Jonin. Neither. Orochimaru shook his head. It's Kirigakura. Recently, the Kirigakura ninja has been very dishonest and will attack our border from time to time. Since it is not a large-scale attack, the village has decided to send you to guard there. Kirigakura? I understand, when will I leave? Now. Chapter 55, Uchiha Shisui. This time, you don't need to lead the team, just go by yourself. There will be Kanahagakura ninjas to meet you over there. Now go and say goodbye to the people you know, and then set off immediately. Yes, Orochimaru-sama. Satoru simply said a few words to Nakajima-sensei and others. They also knew the importance of this mission, so they didn't hold Satoru too much. After a hug and a word of caution, Satoru left. From his current position, it won't take long to reach the location of the mission, because there is a sea between land of fire and land of water. Although there are several islands in the middle, they are all unowned neither belonging to land of fire nor land of water. If you have to say, they belong to pirates. But between the two big countries, there is still a small country, that is, the land of waves. Satoru probably ran at full speed for two days before he finally arrived at the location designated by Orochimaru-sama. After firing a Kanahagakura signal flare, three figures immediately appeared in front of Satoru. You are Hotaki Satoru, right? The person at the forefront spoke. Looking at the other's face, the age is not very big, similar to Satoru, and may even be a few years younger than Satoru. Hmm. Hataki Satoru responded. I am Uchiha Shisui, specially here to meet Hataki Satoru. Upon hearing this name, Satoru was a bit surprised. Uchiha Shisui, Shisui of the body flicker? I didn't expect the person who came to meet me to be you. No way, my title is not as good as the title of Hataki Satoru the White Devil. Hearing this second-rate title, Satoru's face turned a little red. His thick face hasn't been practiced to the level of Gojo Satoru. Let's not mention this title anymore. What is the situation here now? Upon hearing this question, Shisui's face immediately became serious. At present, the other party has no intention of launching a large-scale attack, but they often send small troops to harass us, and we have also lost a lot of people here and sneak attacks are the best tricks of the Kirigakura ninja. To deal with Kirigakura ninja, shouldn't the Hayaga clan be called over? 
their family has a deep hatred with Kirigakura Ninja. Satoru remembered that a Kirigakura Ninja had a Byakugan of the Hayaga clan, and the Hayaga clan had a great effect on the Kirigakura Ninja's Kirigakura technique. I heard that the patriarch of the Hayaga clan did volunteer to come, but was rejected by Hokage-sama, as if he was afraid that the people of the Hayaga clan would be blinded by hatred. Shisui told Satoru what she had heard. I see, tell me about our defense. Okay. Although Satoru is only 11 years old now, he is already the highest commander of this battlefield. As for why he can hold this important position, it is entirely due to Orochimaru's recommendation to the third Hokage. There is also a bit of guilt from the third Hokage towards Sakumo, plus Satoru's good strength, and Kirigakura Ninja did not launch a large-scale attack, otherwise, this position of commanding a battlefield would definitely not be Satoru's turn. Yes, good. But remember not to fight alone when you encounter Kirigakura Ninja. Even if you encounter one person, you should also fire a signal flare and let the surrounding troops come to support. Okay. Shisui nodded seriously. His strength on this battlefield can definitely be said to be among the best among the ninjas of Kanahagakur, so Satoru immediately gave him the position of deputy commander. Although this decision may be a bit hasty, apart from Shisui, Satoru can't think of anyone who can hold this position. After all, all the Kanahagakura ninjas on this battlefield of Kirigakura ninja are some Jonin and Chunin, and there are very few Jonin. But what they might face is the entire village of Kirigakura ninja. Satoru, is that you? At this moment, a familiar voice suddenly came from behind Satoru, and Satoru had already noticed who was coming. Long time no see, Guy. Satoru turned around and smiled, and beside Guy were Shirenui Genma and Ebisu. It's really you, Satoru. I heard that you have been promoted to Jonin, congratulations. Guy happily said to Satoru. Since coming to the battlefield, although Guy has always maintained an optimistic expression on the surface, his heart is always in worry. After all, people are dying here every day. Who knows, will they be ambushed by Kirigakura ninja and die one day? They are all a group of children. Although they are ninjas, they are still afraid of war. Thank you, but I was right about you, you have become a Chunin. Haha, <laughs> thanks to your encouragement all the time. Guy touched the back of his head embarrassingly, showing his white teeth, and said a little embarrassingly. You two are also pretty good, you are already Chunin. There is still a big gap compared with you. Shirenui Genma said, there was a bit of envy in his tone. When they were in school before, they looked down on Satoru. He usually didn't show off, and felt like a tail of a crane. But they didn't expect that when Satoru revealed his strength, their strength was getting bigger and bigger compared to him. If it weren't for the opportunity of this war, they might still be a Genin now. They also made a lot of military exploits before they became a Chunin. Haha, <laughs> you guys don't compare with me, you can never surpass me. If you aim at Kakashi, there is still a little hope. Kakashi, I will definitely surpass him. As soon as Kakashi was mentioned, Guy seemed to have turned on some switch, and his eyes directly burst into flames and his momentum was even better than before. Okay, you continue to patrol, I have something to do. Yes, Satoru. After that, Satoru left with Shisui. He also needs to have a detailed understanding of the terrain and situation here. The one in front of Satoru is Uchiha Shisui, right? Looking at the backs of several people, Shirenui Genma suddenly spoke. It seems to be him. Ebisu also pushed his sunglasses. I heard that a new commander has come here, it won't be Satoru, right? Suddenly, Shirenui Genma thought of this, and said in surprise. How is it possible, even if Satoru's strength is strong again, Hokage-sama will not give such an important position to Satoru? Ebisu said calmly. I think Satoru is qualified to be a commander. Now, Guy can be said to have blind admiration for Satoru. Who were those just now? Shisui asked Satoru. Although they had met a few times, they couldn't remember their names. They only knew that they performed well in this war. At least much stronger than the ninjas who went to the battlefield for the first time in the same period. They were classmates from the ninja school, and they are also a group of very talented ninjas. Chapter 56, The Eight Inner Gates, The Seventh Gate In a blink of an eye, Satoru has been here for more than a month. Satoru's identity as a commander has also been exposed. When he first learned of this news, Shirenui Genma and Ebisu were all shocked. Only Guy showed an expected look. Of course, there are also many ninjas who are dissatisfied with Satoru. 
although they have heard of Satoru's rumors on the Kumagakura ninja battlefield, but the so-called hearing is false, seeing is believing, they have not seen Satoru make a move, naturally they have deep doubts about Satoru's strength. But since this is an order issued by Hokage-sama, even if they can't accept it anymore, there is no way. But now, they have some obvious changes to Satoru. Since they have seen Satoru's strong strength, they have completely convinced by Satoru. Even many former supporters of Hitaki Sakumo have begun to show favor to Satoru. Although Satoru didn't make many moves this month, every time he made a move, he used thunderous means and defeated the local ninjas at the fastest speed. Thanks for your hard work. After returning from another expedition, Shisui said to Satoru. Originally, this time should be Shisui leading the team to fight, but in order to let the protest voice disappear quickly, as long as there are enemies, there will be Satoru's figure. But it's enough, all the ninjas here have completely convinced you. Let's stick to it for a while, I always feel that Kirigakura ninja seems to be planning something big during this period. During this period, the attacks of Kirigakura ninja were too frequent. Before Satoru came, it was probably a harassment of Kanahagakura's border defense forces once a day. But Satoru has been here for a month, and the things that happened are obviously inconsistent with what Shisui and others described. Almost every three days or so, there will be Kirigakura ninja troops appearing, and their strength is not weak. Then I will let each team speed up the patrol frequency. Shisui suggested. Okay. About two days later, a Kanahagakura signal flare suddenly rose in a jungle. Here it comes again, these Kirigakura ninja brat, they are really haunting us. The Kanahagakura squad around the signal flare said helplessly, but still rushed to the direction where the signal flare was fired at the fastest speed. What should we do? Shiranui Genma said in a panic, looking at the few people who were surrounding them and laughing, they immediately felt an unparalleled panic, their teeth were already trembling. I don't know either, we can only pray that our reinforcements will come soon. Guy said, trying to stay calm. Tisk, it seems our luck is really bad. We didn't encounter the white devil, but we encountered these little devils. A man with a bandaged head, sharp teeth, and carrying a big knife spoke. His slanted eyes didn't take these little devils seriously at all. Could they be the seven ninja swordsmen of the Kirigakura ninja village? Ebisu looked at the seven people holding strange big knives and immediately thought of something. Oh, I didn't expect that the little devils of Kanahagakura actually know our names. In that case, you should also know that it is your honor to die in our hands. A terrifying murderous aura erupted directly from the seven people. Instantly, the three of them were scared and sat on the ground. They were clearly sweating profusely, but they felt very cold. What a bunch of cowards! Seeing the embarrassed state of the three guys, the seven ninja swordsmen laughed loudly. However, at this moment, a figure glowing with green light suddenly appeared in front of the three of them. Seeing the person who came, Guy was immediately dumbfounded. Dad? Why would a genin like Dad appear here? Hearing Guy's call to the person who came, Shiranui Genma and Ebisu also looked at each other because they had also heard some things about Guy's dad. He was a genin for many years. What's the use of coming here, to die? Don't say anything, you guys run away, I'll buy some time. You said let us run, but dad, all the enemies are jonin, and they are also the seven ninja swordsmen. With dad alone, you can't stop them at all. The seven ninja swordsmen are different from ordinary jonin. They all belong to the elite jonin level and are very powerful. Don't forget, I still have the eight inner gates. But that is. This is my self-rule. Hearing these words, Guy's eyes widened. He thought of what his father had once said to him. The so-called real victory is not to defeat the strong, but to protect the most important things to oneself. Just as Might Do was preparing to open the eighth gate, Satoru suddenly appeared in the field and directly grabbed Do's hand pressing towards his heart. Do Senpai, using the gate of death on them is a bit of a waste. Satoru. Seeing the person who came, Guy and the others let out a shocked voice. But they are the seven ninja swordsmen. Without the gate of death, they can't be dragged down at all. It seems that you don't know how powerful you will be after using the gate of death, Do Senpai, don't worry, leave the seven of them to me. White hair, black eye mask, is this our target, the white devil? He doesn't seem strong. Biwajozo said, holding his big knife. But you came to the door by yourself which saves us the trouble of looking for it. So you guys are targeting me? Then it seems that I can't let you leave here alive. Although I don't need to open the gate of death, 
I still want to make a contribution to this war. The seventh gate, the gate of shock, open. Blue steam quickly erupted from Du's body, and the people behind him, such as Guy, were immediately blown away by a wave of air. Even Satora's face showed a shocked look. This was the first time he felt the eight inner gates. If he didn't use the infinity technique, he would definitely be killed by Du in this state with a punch. What's going on? The seven ninja swordsmen were also stunned. They never thought that the thick eyebrowed ninja with a watermelon head would suddenly erupt with such a powerful momentum, reaching the level of a shadow. In that case, let's leave the three of them to do senpai. No, I want four. Do directly stretched out four fingers to Satoru. Well then. Satoru smiled helplessly. Then I'll leave it to you, do senpai. Guy, is he your father? Ebisu asked in shock. At this time, they had already hidden behind a huge rock to avoid being affected by the battle between the two sides. This is the Teijutsu, the eight inner gates, that I am currently practicing. I didn't expect that just opening the seventh gate would have such a powerful force. Guy was also a bit shocked. Although he also knew that the eight inner gates had great potential, this was the first time he saw the state of the seventh gate being opened. This is not a genin at all, even Jonin can't beat Du now. Chapter 57, Defeating Two People Directly opening the seventh gate, the gate of shock, of the eight inner gates, blue steam directly erupted from Du's body, his forehead was already bulging with veins and his eyes were white. Then, Du set his first target on Biwajozo, who had cubic ribge. Before the other party could react, Du had already rushed to his front. So fast. Biwajozo muttered to himself, quickly placing cubic ribge horizontally in front of him. Du's fist directly hit the other's knife. The terrifying force directly blasted cubic ribge into two halves, and Biwajozo was also due to this. The terrifying power flew backwards. Jozo. Another member of the seven ninja swordsmen shouted anxiously, and then raised his own knife to plan to sneak attack on Du's back. However, Satoru not only played a key role, but when the other party was about to hit Du, Satoru's figure suddenly appeared behind Du, blocking this attack for him. Your target should be me, don't get your mission wrong. Satoru said, casually knocking off the sword that was cut over. That guy will be left to me for the time being, you guys quickly resolve the mission target. Same Hada's current owner, Sukazan Fugiki, said. My same Hada can absorb Chakra, I should be able to hold him temporarily. After seeing Du's strength, even if Same Hada has the ability to devour Chakra, Sukazan Fugiki has no confidence to completely defeat the opponent. After all, if he is hit by the opponent's fist, then half of his life will be gone. Then I'll leave it to you, Fugiki. Kurosuki Riga, the owner of the Thunder Sword, said. After that, the remaining five people directly rushed towards Hitaki Satoru, seeming to plan to give Hitaki Satoru a fatal blow. It must be said that the cooperation of these five people is quite tacit, and various attacks in all directions do not give Satoru the space to dodge. So Satoru can only use the infinity technique to defend. Good cooperation. When the five people attack Satoru at the same time, they suddenly heard Satoru's praise for them and the smile that appeared at the corner of his mouth. But unfortunately it's of no use to me. Then Satoru stretched out his finger, and a blue light ball appeared above his finger. Suddenly, the five members of the seven ninja swordsmen who besieged Satoru had a very bad premonition. They hurriedly used their fastest speed to leave the original place. The next second, they saw that, except for where Satoru was standing, a twisted deep pit directly appeared around him. And the Sukazan Fugiki also waved same Hada towards Du. Got it. Seeing his same Hada touch the blue steam emanating from Du's body, he showed a hint of joy on his face, but soon, he could no longer maintain the smile on his face. Because he did not receive the chakra feedback from Same Hada, nor did he find that the blue steam on the opponent's body surface decreased. A sword that can absorb chakra? But unfortunately, the blue aura on my body surface is just steam, not chakra, so your big sword has no effect on me. Hearing Du's explanation, Puffer Ghost immediately felt as if he had encountered the nemesis of Same Hada. Morning Tiger. Du plans to end this battle quickly. Opening the seventh gate puts a lot of strain on his body, and he noticed that Satoru was besieged by five people and cared very much about Satoru's safety. Seeing Du clenching his fists, Sukazan Fukuki immediately felt a strong pressure. Not good. Without thinking about anything, what Sukazan Fukuki wants to do now is to retreat quickly and leave this monster immediately. 
he can't stay in front of this monster anymore. As Du swung his fists, an air cannon like a tiger instantly rushed towards Sukazan Fugiki. Although the other party was trying to dodge as much as possible, it was instantly swallowed by Morning Tiger. Damn it! Sukazan Fugiki waved same hata in front of him, but it was still useless, because Morning Tiger was not a ninjutsu formed by Chakra, but an air bullet of Taijutsu. The movement here naturally attracted the attention of Satoru and several others. Are you kidding me, did that Sukazan Fugiki just lose like this? Kurosuke Riga said incredulously, the hearts of the remaining few members of the seven ninja swordsmen were also very heavy. The battle had not started for a long time, and they had already lost two companions. Satoru, get out of the way. At this time, Du suddenly appeared in the air and shouted at Satoru. Satoru also understood and moved aside. Morning Peacock. Seeing Du yelled, his fists swung quickly, and countless flames smashed towards the remaining five members of the seven ninja swordsmen on the ground with Du's fists. For such an attack, they could only hide in embarrassment, and they dared not resist directly. However, just as Du wanted to continue attacking, his body suddenly felt a sharp pain, and the blue steam that appeared outside his body also disappeared. Damn it, is this the limit? Du slowly fell from the air, directly kneeling on the ground both hands propping up his body to prevent himself from lying down, a deep sense of fatigue directly invaded his mind. But the severe pain from the body, there is no way to let him faint directly. Good opportunity, I know that level of secret technique couldn't persist for a long time. Everyone attacked Du together. Father. Seeing this scene, Guy shouted anxiously, without thinking, he rushed up directly. But with his current speed, when he rushed to the front, he probably only left a corpse. At this moment, Satoru once again appeared in front of Dol like a savior. Directly using a blue that has not yet erupted, it instantly scared the five people away. You did a good job, Du Senpai. After going back, I will apply to Hokage-sama to make you a jonin. The identity of a jonin is too humble for you. Sorry, I originally wanted to fight four people, but I didn't expect to only defeat two people. Du said a bit annoyed. It's enough. Being able to solve two of the seven ninja swordsmen, Du Senpai has surpassed most people in the ninja world, leave the rest to me. Then you be careful, Satoru, they are not easy to deal with. I understand. Satoru showed a smile, indicating that Du need not worry. Guy, take your father, and then stay away from here, otherwise, you are likely to be injured by mistake. Yes. Guy answered in a panic. The moment he touched Du, a scream suddenly came from Du's mouth. Oh his lighter, guy, it hurts too much. Dad, bear with it a bit more. In line with the principle that it's better to have short pain than long pain, guy directly picked up Du and ran away quickly. One of them still wanted to catch up, not wanting to waste the opportunity to kill the opponent, but Satoru directly teleported to the front of the opponent and kicked him back with one foot. Chapter 58, Satoru's Reverse Curse Technique Kid you are seeking your own death. Seeing that Satoru was left alone to block them, Kurosuke Riga immediately said a bit upset, feeling that he was being despised by the kid in front of him. They no longer care whether the kid in front of them is their mission target or not, they just want to solve the thick eyebrowed guy now, otherwise that person will become a shadow of one of them. Sorry, the one who is going to die is not me. Curse technique lapse, blue dot. Five blue light spots instantly surrounded the remaining five people. If two blue bursts are close, it will enhance the power of blue, let alone five. Not good. Several people naturally noticed the five blue light spots surrounding them, and a terrifying attraction erupted instantly, pulling their bodies. It is impossible for all five people to escape. Sorry, brother. After Kurosuke Riga felt this terrifying attraction, he directly pushed the companion in front of him, and he immediately jumped out of the blue encirclement. People are not for themselves and the heavens will be destroyed, let alone in the face of life and death. As long as he can live, what does it matter to sacrifice one or two companions? Riga, you bastard! After the pushed person cursed, he was immediately swallowed by blue and disappeared in front of everyone. Sure enough, as expected of the Kirigakur ninja lage with the blood mist policy. You guys are quite cruel to your own companions. This kid's ability is very weird, pay more attention. But the other party seemed to take such things for granted. Kurosuke Riga's behavior did not cause any negative emotions for them at all. Under that situation, if they were replaced, they would do the same. 
Kirigakur no Jutsu. Only a Kirigakur ninja was seen, with both hands forming a seal, and a thick fog instantly surrounded Satoru. You guys really don't have a good memory. Even if the line of sight was blocked, Satoru could clearly see the position and actions of anyone in this thick fog with the ability of Rikugan. Seeing Satoru's vision blocked, the remaining four people launched an attack on Satoru very tacitly, but no matter how the opponent attacked from any angle, Satoru could easily dodge it, and even counteract it. How could this be possible, can he see us? One person said incredulously. Yes, I can see you guys. Satoru's voice sounded directly behind him, and then he felt his head being held by a hand, and then, the next second, his head was pressed to the ground by the other party. In your next life, if you can reincarnate, please born in Kanahagakur village. Satoru's words sounded like a devil's whisper in his ear, and then Satoru's hand strength increased again, directly deforming the opponent's head, and he was already dead and couldn't die anymore. There are still three left, let's deal with it quickly. Satoru directly locked onto the positions of the other three people, simultaneously releasing three blue necks to each person, sealing off every escape route they had. Although they were Kirigakur ninjas, under this fog, their vision was also blocked, so even if they felt a strong sense of crisis in their hearts, they didn't know where this sense of crisis came from. By the time they discovered it, it was already too late. The terrifying suction of blue erupted directly, instantly tearing the bodies of the other three people apart. Hey! After not feeling the life breath of the other three people, Sator let out a sigh of relief. Although the battle just now seemed simple, it caused a terrifying consumption for Satoru. The more blue is released at the same time, the greater the consumption for him. Next, we can collect some spoils of war. But what Satoru didn't notice was that although all seven people had been wiped out, the thick fog surrounding them did not dissipate. Puff. Suddenly, Satoru felt a sharp pain in his chest. When he looked down, a knife had pierced his body directly from behind. How is this possible? Satoru was shocked. Although he did not activate the limitless technique, his Rikugan did not detect the other party's traces at all. Hey, it really succeeded, it's not a loss that I had here for a long time. Hearing the other party's words, Satoru was even more shocked. The other party had been hiding around here for a long time, and he had never discovered the other party. No, I found it, but I didn't notice it. Suddenly, Satoru understood something. Do you have any special Kekiai Genkai? Satoru asked with blood flowing from the corner of his mouth. The penetrating wound on his chest was already fatal. It's not really a Kekiai Genkai. I can only say that since I was born, my presence has been relatively weak. Even if others see me, they will subconsciously ignore it. So, I've never noticed you? I remember, there is a legend that there is an assassin in the Kirigakur ninja village who specializes in taking assassination tasks, and the success rate of assassination is 100%. It is said to be an assassin who can kill others under heavy protection and can leave swaggeringly. That person is you, right? Haha, <laughs> I didn't expect that I am so famous. Hearing Satoru say this, the other party's tone was quite embarrassed. I didn't expect that Kirigakur would send an assassin like you to me. Don't say that, people who can kill five of the seven ninja swordsmen are rare. After saying that, the other party stirred the knife in Satoru's body a bit, and the intense pain instantly spread throughout Satoru's body. But after all, you also died under my knife. Then, the other party pulled out the knife, casually shook it, and threw off the blood on the knife. Without the support of the knife, Satoru directly lay on the ground. It's a pity, if you can grow up smoothly, you will definitely become a famous figure in the ninja world in the future, but who made you meet me? Now Satoru lying on the ground gradually couldn't hear the other party's voice, and his consciousness began to blur. Really, I didn't expect that I would have the same experience as Gojo Satoru. So the negative energy of reverse curse technique multiplied by negative energy, is another negative energy a body injury. If a healthy body equals positive energy, then a body injury equals negative energy, negative and negative make positive, so can reverse curse technique heal body injuries. So, it turns out it's like this. No wonder I couldn't comprehend it before. Satoru self-deprecatingly sighed, because he had never been injured before. But from now on, I will be invincible. The reverse curse technique applies curse power in a multiplicative way. Curse power is negative energy, and negative times negative equals positive. It could be curse power times curse power, or it could be curse power times other negative energy. 
but in this book, it is multiplied by physical negative energy. Perhaps everyone has a different view on this. It might be correct that curse power times curse power, but I think it makes sense that curse power times physical negative energy, after all, it's about regenerating the body. But this is not very important, because once mastered, there is no need to explain the principle of reverse curse technique. I hope everyone can understand. Of course, it is also very likely that I am overthinking, and it is simply curse power times curse power. Chapter 59, Curse Technique Reversal Red Just as the other party was about to leave, he suddenly heard that Satoru's weak heartbeat was gradually getting stronger and stronger. What? He turned his head incredulously and found that Satoru had already propped up the ground and stood up. He didn't know when the eye mask on his head had slipped off, and those eyes filled with blue color looked cold and ruthless at this time. And he also noticed that the penetrating wound he had pierced had already healed. What's going on? The other party muttered to himself incredulously. Although he didn't die just now, he shouldn't have recovered so quickly. I have to say, I really should thank you, Kirigakur Ninja. If it weren't for you, I might never have been able to comprehend this move in my entire life. Satoru's voice was a bit excited and excited. He was also suppressing his joy. After all, he is not invincible in this ninja world now, but he is definitely immortal. Now, his infinity technique is truly an absolute defense. The fatigue of the body and the loss of the brain can be restored to the peak state directly using reverse curse technique. Don't pretend to be a god, if that's the case, then I'll just kill you again. Hat. Hearing this, Satoru showed a disdainful smile. If it weren't for his lack of height, he would want to look down at the other party now. Although your presence is weak, when your knife stabbed me, your presence has been constantly magnified in my senses. Is it? Is it, at this time the other party's voice suddenly sounded behind Satoru, another knife stabbed out, but the result this time was completely opposite to just now, his knife could not penetrate at all when it was about to approach Satoru's body. Is this your method of defending all attacks? He observed the scene of Satoru's fight with the seven ninja swordsmen just now, and naturally noticed that none of the attacks of the ninja swordsmen fell on Satoru, but he didn't know what the principle was. Originally thought that if his attack could not hurt the other party, he would retreat immediately, but who would have thought that he actually succeeded, but after success, who would have thought that the other party actually came back to life. And not only did he come back to life, it seemed that some places had changed, but he couldn't tell where the changes had occurred. That's right. Then, Satoru's body turned instantly, and a punch directly shattered the knife in the other party's hand. The other party's reaction speed was not slow, and he immediately retreated a few steps, looking at the remaining knife handle in his hand, with an incredible expression on his face. What a terrifying physical quality. All right, I'm done playing with you. If I don't go back now, they will probably worry. However, in gratitude for helping me comprehend new techniques, it's not too much to repay you by killing you with this new moves, right? Satoru extended a finger, and a red ball appeared at the tip of his finger. Curse technique reversal, red. As Satoru's voice fell, a dazzling white light suddenly erupted from the red ball, accompanied by a terrifying repulsive force that burst forward. The other party didn't even have time to react, and was instantly blown hundreds of meters away by this terrifying repulsive force, hitting dozens of large trees before crashing into a mountain and stopping. Are you a monster? Even so, the other party did not die immediately, but he could clearly feel that he would not live long, because all his internal organs had been shattered, and there was no intact place inside his body. A monster. At this time, Satoru's voice suddenly sounded in front of the other party. Seeing this, he widened his eyes even more, or to say, his eyes were the only place he could move now. He didn't notice when the other party arrived at all. He didn't believe that the other party could move such a long distance in less than a second after he flew so far. Perhaps this title does indeed fit me now. To die at the hands of someone like you, I guess I didn't lose out in this life. After he reluctantly finished this sentence, his eyes completely lost their light, his head drooped, and he completely lost his breath of life. Captain Hotaki, are you okay? At this time, the support had just arrived, and Uchiha Shisui led a team of ninjas directly to Satoru's side. You guys are a bit late, the battle is over. Satoru put on his eye mask again. The ninjas who came to support were dumbfounded as they looked at the destroyed field. They couldn't imagine how the destruction of more than a hundred meters was achieved. Uchiha Shisui found something different. 
he found that the clothes on Satoru had two holes in the front and back that were not far apart. It looked like it was caused by a penetrating injury, but he found that the piece of skin exposed by Satoru was intact. All right, let's clean up the battlefield. Presumably, those seven ninja swords can bring us a lot of compensation for Kanahagakur. Kirigakur will definitely not give up these seven ninja swords. After all, the seven ninja swordsmen can be said to be the most powerful team of Kirigakur ninja. Shisui, you will have to personally lead the patrol for a while. I'm afraid that Kirigakur ninja will send out a strong force again. Understood. Shisui nodded seriously. This time, allowing the seven ninja swordsmen to invade here can be said to be their mistake. Satoru still needs to go back and familiarize himself with reverse curse technique. He has just mastered it and there are still many areas where he is not proficient. For example, it will take some time for him to master curse technique neutral limitless, infinity. Even Gojo Satoru only mastered neutral limitless, infinity a year after learning the reverse curse technique. After returning to the camp, Satoru first reported the attack to the village, as the matter about the seven ninja swordsmen was quite significant. Then he applied to the third Hokage to promote Du to Jonin. As Satoru expected, Du's promotion to Jonin was quickly approved, and because he killed two of the seven ninja swordsmen, this was also considered as Du completing an S-rank mission. Satoru has made great contributions on the front line this time, killing five of the seven ninja swordsmen. The son of White Fang already has such strength, it really is the case of the new wave pushing the old one. Hiruzen, I think he should be handed over to me for training. I can better discover the child's talent. After learning about Satoru's battle record, Danzo was somewhat moved and directly asked the third Hokage for him. Danzo, don't mention this matter again in the future. Neither Satoru nor Kakashi will be given to you. After all, we owe White Fang too much and can't let his child touch more darkness. Hiruzen, you are too kind. What a village leader needs is not kindness. Seeing the third Hokage's firm attitude, Danzo could only give up but before leaving, he kindly reminded the third Hokage. Chapter 60, Uchiha Shisui's Challenge Captain Hotaki, I want to have a duel with you. A month after the battle ended, Shisui suddenly found Satoru and said very seriously, both in tone and expression. Oh? Why do you want to challenge me? Satoru was full of curiosity and a little puzzled. He couldn't understand why Shisui wanted to challenge him suddenly. I just want to see how strong Captain Hotaki is. I've always been watching Captain Hotaki make a move, and I've never fought with you. I'm a bit itchy. Is that so? Then I also want to try, how much strength does Uchiha's genius ninja, Shisui of the Body Flicker, have? Satoru was also interested in Shisui's challenge. The two found a deserted place. If the battle between the two of them was spread out, it would definitely attract many people to watch, which is not what the two wanted to see. You take the first shot, Shisui. Okay. Shisui did not refuse, quickly formed seals with both hands, and several shadow clones similar to physical entities appeared around Shisui. Is this your teleportation technique? It's really wonderful. Satoru's Rikugan saw that these clones were all connected by a special chakra. When needed, any clone could become Shisui's entity, but when not needed, any clone was illusory. Be careful, Captain Hotaki. All the clones rushed towards Satoru, all drew their swords and launched an attack on Satoru. When attacking, it seemed that every clone was physical. But Satoru just stood there motionless and was hit by Shisui. All the swords stopped when they were about to touch Satoru. Is this Captain Hotaki's Kekiai Genkai? It really makes people feel tricky. Shisui quickly retreated, then quickly formed hand seals again. Fire release, great dragon fire technique. Three huge fire dragons appeared from Shisui's mouth, flying directly towards Satoru. Curse technique reversal, red dot. Satoru extended a finger, a red ball appeared, and the three fire dragons that were about to swallow Satoru were instantly dispersed. Shisui also observed all this with his Sharingan. Is it repulsion? Shisui said somewhat uncertainly. Yes, you can understand it that way. Although the infinity technique could also resist it, Satoru felt that this battle might be more interesting. Not only can you use ninjutsu that exerts repulsion, but you also have a kekiai genkai similar to absolute defense. This means that all teijutsu is useless against Captain Hotaki. In that case, only genjutsu is left. Then, the three Tomo and Shisui's Sharingan eyes began to rotate, and suddenly, 
Satoru felt the surrounding environment change. Genjutsu not only affects vision, but directly deceives the brain, affecting perception. Is this Genjutsu? He found that the environment he was in had not changed, but Shisui had suddenly disappeared, as if he had never existed. The traces of Shisui's use of ninjutsu just now were also erased. This was Satoru's first experience with Genjutsu. After all, Genjutsu can be said to be the most difficult type, and there are very few powerful Genjutsu ninjas. But in front of my eyes, it can be said to be full of loopholes. Although Genjutsu deceived Satoru's vision, he could clearly see the flow of chakra in this Genjutsu world, directly causing a chaotic flow of chakra in his body, and easily broke this Genjutsu. The next moment, the environment in front of him seemed to shatter like glass. From the time Satoru was in Genjutsu to the time he broke the Genjutsu, it took less than a second. But when Satoru's vision returned to normal, Shisui had already arrived in front of him and stabbed Satoru with a knife. But the next second, Shisui's body was instantly bounced away. This is the effect of cursed technique lapse neutral limitless, infinity, which will automatically judge the danger level of objects approaching based on the strength, mass, speed, etc. of the curse power, and will present either stop or bounce according to the judgment result. The knife just now was judged to be very dangerous, so Satoru didn't need to control it at all. Neutral limitless, infinity instantly bounced the other party away. It can't work even in an unconscious situation. Instantly, Shisui felt a sense of powerlessness. He found that no matter what he did, he couldn't even touch Satoru's clothes. All right, let's end this battle here, you can't defeat me. I lost. Shisui spoke with a sense of loss, and deep inside, he felt a profound sense of defeat, especially since Satoru was even younger than him. Having been hailed as a genius of the Uchiha clan from a young age, he was inevitably a bit proud. But this battle completely shattered all his pride. His strength in front of the other party was so vulnerable that he found that the other party didn't even move his body. Don't be discouraged, after all, I'm different from you guys. Satoru patted Shisui on the shoulder, and the next second, his body disappeared on the spot. Some things need to be figured out by oneself. However, this battle also made Satoru discover one thing, that his Rikugan could not be immune to Genjutsu. Although he could see through Genjutsu, he could not be immune to Genjutsu. You know, some Genjutsu, even if you know you are in Genjutsu, you can't break it. For example, Tsukuyomi, Kota Amitsukami, and Infinite Tsukuyomi. If he really gets hit by these powerful Genjutsu, Satoru is not sure whether he can break it. If I master the domain expansion, maybe I can forcibly break this level of Genjutsu. Suddenly, Satoru thought of this possibility, but he was not sure whether the domain could really break the infinite Tsukuyomi of this level. But now Satoru is not in a hurry about the domain expansion, because there is no opponent worth using the domain expansion to defeat. Neutral Limitless, Infinity Satoru has mastered about 50% of it. The next step is to master the Hollow Technique Purple. This move is very difficult. To perfectly integrate blue and red, the power of the two must be the same, and the power of red is at least twice that of blue. This shows that to master this move, control is very important. Of course, this is not a problem for him who has Rikugan, he just needs to spend more time and practice. Now Satoru suddenly discovered how invincible Gojo Satoru in the Cursed Technique Lapse world is. Now he hasn't mastered all of Gojo Satoru's skills, and he already feels that no one in the ninja world can stop him. In addition to powerful Genjutsu, he just needs to guard against sealing techniques. After all, some powerful sealing techniques, such as Dead Demon Consuming Seal, might really be able to seal him. Chapter 61, The End of the Third War Good news, the Third Rakage has died. On this day, the news of the Third Rakage's death suddenly spread throughout the entire ninja world. It seems this war is about to end. When Satoru heard this news, he had already guessed that the Third Great Ninja War was about to end. The Third Rakage, in order to buy time for the Kumagakur ninjas to retreat, directly confronted 10,000 rock ninjas alone. Although the Third Rakage died, the Uegakur ninjas must have suffered heavy losses. Without the Third Rakage, Kumagakur certainly does not want this war to continue. The rock ninjas also suffered a lot of losses, they do not want this war to continue. The Kirigakur village also suffered the same loss of the seven ninja swordsmen. Now those seven ninja swords are still in the Kanahagakur village, and the Kirigakur ninja have not redeemed them yet. When they want to redeem the ninja swords again, they will definitely pay a huge price to Kanahagakur. 
Although the Sunagakur ninjas did not lose anything in this battle, it should be noted that the fuse of the Third War was the disappearance of the Third Kazakage. To say that the only one who did not suffer too much loss this time is the Kanahagakur village. Although many ninjas died, they were all a group of Chunin and lower ninjas. The death of Jonin was in the minority, and there was not a single shadow level. And Kanahagakur also has many ninjas who have made a name for themselves in this battle, such as Hitaki Satoru's title of White Devil, and Nami Kaze Minato's title of Yellow Flash. It can be said that the biggest beneficiary of this war is completely Kanahagakur, whether it is fame or profit. Just the compensation that the Kirigakur ninja village wants to redeem the seven ninja swords is enough to completely make up for the loss of Kanahagakur in this war. It's not easy to have a chance to open your mouth wide, it's strange if you don't open your mouth wide. At this time, the friction between the various borders has gradually started to decrease, and it is estimated that it can only erupt in a big battle at most. But at least now, there will not be two fierce wars erupting on the border of the Kirigakur ninja village where Satoru is stationed. Originally, the Kirigakur ninja village did not send a large army to participate in the war, just wanted to get a share of the pie in this battle, but did not expect to even put the seven ninja swordsmen in it. If the Kirigakur ninja village lacks the seven ninja swordsmen, the overall combat power of the Kirigakur ninja village will definitely drop several levels. At this time, a few months have passed, and Satoru is now 12 years old. On this day, snowflakes slowly floated in the sky, and the troops where Satoru and others were suddenly received the order to return to the village. In this instant, all the people burst into cheers, because they knew that the war was over, and they finally didn't have to be afraid on the front line. As soon as they returned to the village, they found that all the villagers in the village had spontaneously organized and welcomed them at the village gate. When Satoru and others walked into the village, the villagers burst into a violent cheer. In the crowd, Satoru also saw his father, who seemed to get along very well with the uncle next to him. Hitaki Sakumo looked at Satoru with eyes full of warmth and a touch of relief. He now feels that his eldest son has completely grown up. Well done, Satoru. Hitaki Sakumo gently moved his lips, and Satoru understood what Sakumo wanted to express. In response to him was Satoru's confident smile. You guys go back first, I'm going to report to Hokage-sama. Satoru said to the ninjas behind him. Yes, Captain Hitaki, we must invite Captain Hitaki for a meal one day to celebrate our safe return. Okay, then I'll wait for you. Hitaki Satoru did not refuse, he had been with these ninjas for about two years, and naturally they had developed feelings for each other. They could be brothers, comrades, or friends. Although Satoru was younger than them, they have long regarded Satoru as a peer or even an elder, because Satoru is their benefactor. Hokage-sama, I'm back. Satoru knocked on the door of the Hokage's office and walked in directly. You've worked hard, I've heard about your situation on the front line, you are really like your father. If Sakumo can watch you here, he will definitely felt proud for you. Thank you for Hokage-sama's praise. I saw it, the villagers all welcome you, I hope you always remember the will of fire. Don't let the people who believe in you down. Yes, Hokage-sama. When the people from other battlefields come back, we will hold a commendation meeting for you together. At that time, whatever reward you want, just speak up. As long as I can do it, I will try my best to satisfy you. Thank you, Hokage-sama. Then, Satoru told the third Hokage about some details of the past two years. The third Hokage nodded frequently. When he heard about the attack, the third Hokage also clenched his fists nervously. If there's nothing else, I'll go first. Okay. Just as Satoru was about to leave, the third Hokage suddenly stopped him. Wait. What's wrong, Hokage-sama? What level has your strength reached now? The third Hokage directly asked a question that had been in his heart for a long time. When he learned that Satoru had retreated from AI's hands and killed five of the seven ninja swordsmen, this question had been lingering in his heart. At least I wouldn't lose against you Hokage-sama. Satoru said confidently, even if he was facing the third Hokage, he was still confident in the face of his own strength. The strength he now possesses is his confidence to deal with all problems. It seems that White Fang really has a successor. In the future, when the village is handed over to you young people, I will be relieved. The third Hokage did not think that Satoru was lying, because when Satoru said that sentence, the third Hokage's heart felt a strong pressure. This pressure did not come from the other party's strong chakra, because the other party's chakra was not as much as his, but a psychological pressure. 
The third Hokage also knew that after the war was completely over, he would have to step down from the position of Hokage. Because no matter what, the losses caused by the war, these leaders also have to pay some price for the village. And this price is his resignation as Hokage, and the selection of the fourth Hokage. Now Saratobi Hiruzen's heart has already had his own ideas, even if he really doesn't become Hokage, he must at least hold half of the power. So he must find someone who is relatively easy to control. Hokage-sama, what are you talking about? The village also needs people from your generation. I feel that Hokage-sama can still be in office for 12 years. 12 years, ha ha ha, that's really going to take my life. Although Saratobi Hiruzen said so, he was still very happy to hear others compliment him. Will anyone think that the end of the third war is too hasty? Chapter 62, Kakashi Returns After leaving the third Hokage, Satoru didn't go home, but went directly to his father's dessert shop. Long time no see, father. Sitting in front of the counter, Satoru spoke, his tone full of nostalgia and longing. You've become a real man now, Satoru. Sakumo said with a full face of affirmation. Should I tell you about a marriage, Satoru, I think the daughter of the Ichiraku family is quite good. Suddenly, Sakumo didn't know how his brain circuit worked, the topic changed so quickly. Let's not talk about this, this good thing should be left to Kakashi. If father doesn't arrange for him, I guess Kakashi might end up alone. Kakashi. Sakumo rubbed his chin with one hand, raised his head, seemed to be in thought, with Kakashi's poisonous tongue character, it is indeed difficult to find a girlfriend. Yes, you're right, when Kakashi comes back, let's ask Kakashi. By the way, I haven't seen Kakashi for half a year, I don't know how he's doing now. After all, Kakashi is not like Satoru, who needs to sit in a battlefield. The tasks he performs sometimes also need to go back and forth between the village and the battlefield, so in these two years, the father and son have also seen each other quickly. Who knows, maybe when Kakashi comes back, father will see a different Kakashi. Indeed, the battlefield is a place that really trains people. Every time Kakashi comes back, I can find a different change in Kakashi. And it is said that Kakashi has developed an A-level ninjutsu called Chidori, which is very powerful. But I haven't seen it yet. In this respect, Kakashi is stronger than you. Haha, <laughs> it doesn't matter, I don't care about these things. But what I said might be different from what father thinks. I hope father can prepare in advance. Satoru knows that Obito's thing will definitely happen. The reason why Madara chose Obito is also a long-planned thing. Or in other words, apart from Obito, other people from the Uchiha clan simply cannot complete what he has explained. After all, the Uchiha clan is a clan full of love, but when this love is lost, the eyes will evolve stronger. And Obito is even more full of love than other Uchiha clan, he is the easiest to be stimulated, and he is the one who is most easily caught. Satoru did think about saving Obito, but he didn't know the specific time of the incident, and he couldn't leave the border of Kirigakura Ninja Village for a long time, so he could only let the incident happen. Otherwise, who would want to see a scar on his brother's eyes? Although the scar looks handsome and charming in the future. Do you know something? Hearing Satoru say this, Sakumo's face instantly became serious. I do know a little bit, but this matter may have to rely on Kakashi to come out. Satoru, now I'm not convenient to show up, you and Kakashi must take care of each other normally. Don't worry, father, I won't let people bully Kakashi. Now I am very strong, even you may not be my opponent now. It has to be said that developing the limitless technique into a passive skill is good, there is no need to worry about your own safety at all, even if he stands there and lets others hit, others can't even touch his clothes. Really? If you say that, I really want to practice with you. Sakumo squinted his eyes and said, as if he was carefully looking at Satoru, but he didn't find anything special about Satoru, except that his body was a bit bigger. Then father will definitely regret it. He could already imagine himself standing there motionless, letting Sakumo chop at him, and in the end, no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't touch him. He wondered what kind of expression would appear on the other's face. By the way, I heard that Kakashi broke your sword, don't hit him when you come back. After saying that, Sator left directly. This kid. Sakumo smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth. He's still good to make a small report as before. About ten days later, all the people, except for the necessary border guards, had returned one after another. 
naturally, the villagers welcomed them every time. And Sakumo naturally noticed Kakashi's abnormal state. He was emitting a gloomy aura all over his body, as if he had no fighting spirit left. Kakashi, what happened to you? Sakumo's heart was a bit heavy, he couldn't understand what had happened to make Kakashi so desperate. Kakashi naturally noticed that someone had been staring at him. Following the direction of the feeling, he saw his father's concerned eyes. Seeing this, a touch of excitement appeared in Kakashi's eyes, but this excited emotion quickly disappeared. Sakumo suddenly remembered what Satoru had said to him a few days ago about how Kakashi's change this time was different from before. This was not different at all. Apart from looking the same, the feeling they gave people was completely different. And Kakashi's left eye was also covered by his forehead protector, it should be that his eye was injured. When Kakashi returned home, he was directly pulled in front of Sakumo by Satoru, because he knew that Sakumo must be very worried about Kakashi now. What happened, Kakashi? In the secret room of the dessert shop, Sakumo asked with a serious face, but in his tone, he could hear a strong concern for Kakashi. Obito is dead, Rin is also dead. As he spoke, tears flowed from Kakashi's eyes. Hearing this, Sakumo fell silent. He had experienced the death of a teammate, so he knew this feeling was very uncomfortable, very painful. And Rin died at my hands, I killed Rin with my own hands. Kakashi looked at his own hands, as if his hands were still covered with Rin's blood. Brother, father, what should I do? Obito personally entrusted Rin to me, but I killed her. At this time, Kakashi seemed particularly helpless, Sakumo saw this scene, and his heart ached. Even Satoru, seeing Kakashi in this state, felt very bad. The dessert in his mouth felt somewhat tasteless. Kakashi, you have to cheer up, the other people in the village need you, you can't always be obsessed, you are my son. Hearing this, Satoru's eyes under the mask directly gave Sakumo a white look. Does a person who has committed suicide have the right to say this? Kakashi, although Rin is dead, Obito is not dead yet. At this time, Satoru spoke. What? Hearing this, Kakashi was shocked and raised his head, looking at Satoru incredulously. Then where is he? Satoru shook his head. But now Obito's heart is full of hatred and anger towards you. He saw with his own eyes that you killed Rin. You know how important Rin is to Obito. But Obito has gone astray, so Kakashi, you need to cheer up and bring him back on track. Chapter 63, Hot-Blooded Fool Kakashi believed Satoru's words, because he knew that Satoru's eyes could always see some future scenes, so he believed that what Satoru said was true. Even if Obito had gone astray, as long as he was still alive, that was enough. But, Kakashi, now that you have become a jonin, do you have any plans? Sakumo was very concerned about Kakashi's future. Once recognized as a jonin, he could directly leave the squad. I don't know, but I might join the Anbu. Kakashi doesn't have any specific plans right now, he just needs to follow Namikaze Minato's arrangements. Well, joining the Anbu is also good. Presumably, it won't be long before Minato will take over as the fourth Hokage. By then, joining the Anbu will also have a backing, and with your strength, you should easily become a squad leader. What about you, Satoru? Me? When there are no missions, I can just eat and drink in the village and live a lazy life. Hearing Satoru's answer, Sakumo and Kakashi both showed dead fish eyes. They didn't expect that after the war ended, Satoru would be such a salted fish. You kid, I take back what I just said, you haven't grown up at all, there's no change at all. Ha ha ha, isn't it good to be a salted fish? Satoru laughed. But Kakashi, you need to solve the problem with your left eye. Hearing Satoru say this, Sakumo remembered the situation with Kakashi's left eye. Your left eye. During a battle, my eye was scratched by the opponent. This left eye is a gift from Obito for my promotion to Jonin. But since Obito is not dead, I will return it to him in the future. After saying that, Kakashi lifted his forehead protector, revealing the three Tomo Sharingan. The Sharingan actually appeared on a foreigner, I guess the Uchiha clan won't let it go. Sakumo pondered. But this is not the most serious problem, father, you know that Kakashi doesn't have the Uchiha bloodline, the Sharingan is a burden on him. He doesn't have the ability to close the Sharingan, it will constantly consume Kakashi's chakra. As for how to deal with the Sharingan, Satoru also didn't have a clue. If he dug out his eyes, 
Kakashi would definitely not be willing. If a sealing technique is used, it should be possible to temporarily seal the Sharingan, but unfortunately, I am not very proficient in sealing techniques. But you can go to Kushina to try, she should have some kind of sealing technique for this, and you are Namikaze Minato's disciple, she should be able to help you. Well, after the war is completely over, I will go to Aunt Kushina to see if there is any way. All right, Kakashi, don't think too much, Obito is not dead yet, you must cheer up quickly. Sakumo directly put his hands on Kakashi's shoulders, as if he was transferring his own strength to Kakashi, cheering him on. I will. At this time, Kakashi was not as gloomy and pessimistic as in the original work. After all, he still has a brother and a father, and he also knows that Obito is not dead. At least now his heart also has a clear goal, that is to bring Obito back to Kanahagakur. Then you guys should leave first, staying here for a long time will make the people in the village suspicious. But Kakashi, you have to come often, you even broke the sword, it seems that your swordsmanship is not yet home. Hearing this, Kakashi incredulously glanced at Satoru, the meaning expressed in his eyes seemed to be you told the secret? That's right, I said it. Satoru said with a smile, generously admitting it. You really are my good brother. Kakashi said through gritted teeth. Of course, in order to improve your strength, Kakashi, I have put a lot of effort into it. Satoru directly hugged Kakashi's neck, saying shamelessly. Hehe, <laughs> it's been more than two years since I saw my brother, I don't know how strong my brother is, do you want to compare with me? Although Kakashi also knew that he might not be able to win against this pervert in front of him, he was unwilling to let him go so easily. Okay, then I want to see if it's the Sharingan that gives you confidence, or the Chidori that gives you confidence, that gives you the courage to challenge me. Don't worry, this time I won't use my moves. I will only use Teijutsu to defeat you. Then you must not regret it. A gloomy smile appeared on Kakashi's face under the mask. These two kids. Watching the two of them walking out in full enthusiasm, Sakumo showed a helpless smile on his face, but at the same time felt that the atmosphere here was very warm. From childhood to adulthood, he has never been with these two brothers. Now he feels that not being a ninja seems to be a very good decision. Yo, Kakashi, let's have a match with me. When the two of them walked out of the dessert shop, a voice full of blood suddenly reached the ears of the two of them, and the eyes of the surrounding people were all attracted by this voice. Hearing this familiar voice, Kakashi directly covered his face in pain, he naturally knew who said this, but he didn't expect that after such a long time, the other party hadn't changed at all. The next second, the other party jumped directly in front of Kakashi. Let's have a match, Kakashi. The other party stretched out a thumb, and at the same time showed two rows of teeth that were white to the point of reflection. Not interested. Kakashi said speechlessly, who else could it be besides Guy, besides Guy, Kanahagakur couldn't find a second person who wanted to challenge Kakashi. Now Kakashi really doesn't understand, where does Guy get so much energy, the war has just ended a few days ago, and he still wants to fight with others, can't understand, can't understand. Kakashi, this won't work, you have to be full of blood just like me. After speaking, he directly started doing push UPS in front of Kakashi, as if to say how abundant his energy is. Boring. Kakashi directly passed Guy. If that's the case, then don't blame me for not being polite. Guy, who stood up again, directly punched Kakashi's back of the head, but Kakashi's reaction was very sensitive, he directly tilted his head, both hands directly grabbed Guy's arm, and then came a shoulder throw. You lost. Kakashi also took advantage of the situation and clamped his leg on the other's neck. Damn it, Kakashi won another game. In order to catch up with Kakashi quickly, I have to run around the village 50 times first, big brother Satoru, see you next time. After speaking, Guy ran away with smoke from his legs. What a hot-blooded fool. Chapter 64, Kakashi's Rematch Kakashi and Satoru came to the Hotaki family's training ground. Satoru stood by with his hands in his pockets, completely unguarded, while Kakashi looked at Satoru with a serious gaze, revealing his Sharingan. Come on, let me see how much you've grown in these two years. Hearing Satoru's words, Kakashi took the initiative to attack, directly throwing out several smoke bombs. Instantly, the entire training ground was enveloped in thick smoke. You should know, Kakashi, this kind of blinding technique is of no use to me. 
Satoru slightly shifted his figure and avoided Kakashi's sneak attack. Then, Satoru saw two attacks coming at the same time. Cooperation with the Shadow Clone? I have to say, the tactics are excellent, but for me, they have no effect. Satoru's two hands directly grabbed Kakashi's two arms that were about to sneak attack, and then slapped each other, and the two Kakashis turned into a puff of smoke and disappeared. Earth Release, Double Suicide Decapitation Jutsu At this moment, Kakashi's voice suddenly came from under Satoru's feet, but it was directly avoided by Satoru with a jump. I told you, Kakashi, this kind of technique has no effect on me, your every move is all in my sight. What a troublesome I. Although it's tricky, Kakashi still doesn't want to give up. If he gives up now, even Kakashi himself will look down on himself. After all, Satoru hasn't used his full strength yet. Your eyes are not qualified to talk about me, Kakashi. In that case, I can only use that move to fight, although that move is not suitable for use on relatives, but apart from that, I can't think of any way to defeat him. Thinking of this, Kakashi's hands quickly formed seals, and a ball of lightning appeared directly on Kakashi's right hand, accompanied by a harsh bird song, as if thousands of birds were singing together. So this is Chidori? It really is a gorgeous ninjutsu. Be careful, if it doesn't work, you can use your ability without losing face. Ha, am I being underestimated? Come on, Kakashi, I hope you won't disappoint me. Tisk, then don't blame me for not reminding you. After saying that, Kakashi's figure quickly rushed towards Satoru. The Chidori passively accelerated Kakashi's movement speed, so it needed the cooperation of the Sharingan with high dynamic vision. Wherever Kakashi passed, a trench appeared on the ground. When he was close to Satoru, Kakashi jumped directly into midair, and the Chidori stabbed directly at Satoru's body. To deal with this move, as long as the speed is faster than you, it can be easily cracked. Satoru immediately sidestepped, then reached out and grabbed Kakashi's arm. The Chidori flickered on his palm, but his right arm was already held in Satoru's hand. What? Kakashi looked at this scene incredulously, his eyes full of shock as he looked at Satoru. He didn't expect that his ultimate move would be easily resolved by the other party. Satoru's palm exerted force, and the pain from his arm instantly made Kakashi's Chidori dissipate. You have no tricks left, Kakashi. That's not necessarily true. Just then, Kakashi's body suddenly emitted lightning, and the whole person turned into a bolt of lightning and disappeared. Lightning Shadow Clone Feeling a strong tingling sensation coming from his body, Satoru instantly understood what was going on. You were careless, big brother. Kakashi jumped directly from under the ground, holding a kunao to Satoru's neck. You lost. Hearing Kakashi's words, a gratified smile appeared on Satoru's face. Ha ha ha, you are indeed my little brother. If it were an ordinary person, or even some ordinary jonin, they would all lose to this move of yours. But unfortunately, you met me. In front of my eyes, none of your moves can escape. After Satoru finished speaking, the Satoru and Kakashi's eyes turned into a puff of smoke and disappeared. Then, another Satoru appeared behind Kakashi. So, if you want to win over me, you are still far behind. Satoru stretched out two fingers, circled from behind Kakashi's head to in front of Kakashi's eyes, and shook them. Tisk, when did you use the Shadow Clone? Kakashi asked the doubt in his heart. His Sharingan had been paying attention to Satoru's movements all the time, but he didn't find out when Satoru used the Shadow Clone. From the beginning. And Kakashi, you should know that when ninjutsu is practiced to the extreme, you can do it with one-handed seals or even without seals. Like the Shadow Clone Jutsu, I have already achieved the level of no seals. Generally, when using ninjutsu, you will think about it deliberately and use it, so you need to seal it. But if you treat ninjutsu as a habit of living, eating and drinking, and treat ninjutsu as something you have to do every day, then it is very simple to learn a ninjutsu to the level of no seals. Generally, ninjutsu with fewer seals can easily reach the situation of no seals. Kakashi, I think you'd better practice Chidori to the level of no seals. With your talent, this shouldn't be a difficult task. I really didn't expect that I have been left behind by you so much. It's normal for a big brother to be stronger than a little brother. After all, I was born a few minutes earlier than you. If I was born earlier, would your Keki Ai Genkai be mine too? You are dreaming. All right, don't think too much, get stronger as soon as possible. With your current strength, 
you are far from reassuring me. It's as if you are already very strong. Do you want to see my full strength? Kakashi, who was planning to leave, heard Satora's words and immediately became interested. If that's the case, let me show you. After saying that, Satora directly pulled Kakashi and teleported to a place far away from the village. If it's in the village, the movement might be too big, so to avoid some trouble, I'll show you outside the village. Before Kakashi could recover from the shock of moving from inside the village to outside the village, he saw Satora stretch out a finger, and a red light ball appeared on Satora's finger. Reverse Curse Technique, Red Dot The terrifying impact force erupted instantly, and Kakashi observed all this with Sharingan, but he didn't observe anything useful. When Kakashi came back to his senses, everything in front of the two of them had disappeared, as if there had been a violent explosion. So, Kakashi, if you want to surpass me, you still have a long way to go. Satoru saw several Anbu rushing in this direction, and quickly took Kakashi back to the village. After all, being found to leave the village privately is also punishable. Chapter 65, Orochimaru's Deal with Danzo Before long, four Anbu ninjas appeared at the place where Kakashi and Satoru had just stood, looking at the deep trench that appeared in front of them, all four of them were shocked. What kind of ninjutsu is this? Could it be earth release that caused such a big destruction to the ground? No matter what, this matter must be reported to Hokage-sama first. After all, the commotion that Satoru had just caused was too big, and it was normal to be discovered. Unidentified ninjutsu traces appeared outside the village? Strengthen the patrol outside the village, although the war has ended, we absolutely cannot be careless. The third Hokage said solemnly. Yes, Hokage-sama. Although the big war has ended, small-scale frictions have been happening uninterruptedly, and different village teams will fight from time to time. In this way, this stumbling fight has lasted for more than a year, and until now, each village is still arguing for the compensation that their village can get. But it is undeniable that Kanahagakur is the ultimate beneficiary of the Third Great Ninja War. Kumagakur, who started the war first, will definitely compensate the losses of all villages first, followed by Kirigakur Ninja Village. In order to redeem those seven ninja swords, Kanahagakur almost emptied half of their family's wealth. This year, Hataki Satoru is 13 years old, Kakashi is 13 years old, and the Third Great Ninja War has completely ended this year. Hiruzen, it's time for you to abdicate. On this day, the Third Hokage and the elders of Kanahagakura village sat in a conference room, discussing the abdication of the Third Hokage. Our village must also give the villagers an explanation for the losses caused by this war. Yudatan Kohara said. I know. The Third Hokage took a few puffs of smoke, and there was a bit of melancholy in his expression. After all, he had been in the position of Hokage for so many years, and he was still somewhat reluctant to leave. Have you thought about who the next heir will be? Mitokato Homura also asked. Hearing this, Danzo, who had been closing his eyes on the side, immediately opened his eyes and stared straight at Saratobi Hiruzen. I have made up my mind, the fourth Hokage will be Namikaze Minato. Whether it is his strength and talent, strategy, he is fully qualified to be the fourth Hokage. Saratobi Hiruzen spoke as if he hadn't noticed Danzo's gaze. Hearing this, Danzo's eyes widened instantly. Although he had known the result of the matter would be like this, he was still very unwilling when Hiruzen announced it in person. Hmm, Minato does have this qualification, and among ordinary people, his reputation is also very high. Mito Homura nodded in agreement. Well, since the decision has been made long ago, let Minato take over the position of Hokage as soon as possible to give the people an explanation. Hmm. Hiruzen nodded. Then, the news that Minato was going to become the fourth Hokage spread quickly in the village, and everyone's faces showed a smile, because for this yellow flash, the people in the village are very recognized. Fourth Hokage, Namikaze Minato. In an experimental base, when Orochimaru heard this news, a trace of gloom appeared in his eyes. Although he had known long ago that the position of Hokage might have nothing to do with him, after all, he was once one of the candidates for the fourth Hokage. Now, he was inexplicably out of the running, which really made him very upset. But now he really doesn't have any good memories of the position of Hokage, after all, he has more important things to do now. Thinking of the comrades who died in front of him in the second and third ninja wars, Orochimaru felt that human life was really fragile, as if it would shatter with a slight touch. But this is not what Orochimaru wants, he wants to have eternal life. Orochimaru. 
At this moment, a voice suddenly sounded behind Orochimaru. Hearing this familiar voice, Orochimaru already knew who it was. Danzo, what are you looking for me for? Orochimaru squinted his eyes and said, now that the fourth Hokage has been determined, both of them are losers. As Hiruzen's disciple, it's really funny that he didn't choose you as his successor. Hearing Danzo say this, Orochimaru's face immediately darkened. Do you have anything else? If not, you can leave. As Orochimaru's words fell, several small snakes surrounded Danzo, spitting out snake letters, as if threatening the other party. But Danzo didn't even look at these few snakes. Orochimaru, do you know why Hiruzen chose Namikaze Minato? Humph, he has the ability, the strength, and the people's heart. Isn't it normal to succeed the fourth Hokage? Both Danzo and Orochimaru have strength and ability, but they are lacking in the people's heart. I think you should understand, Hiruzen just has some nostalgia for the power of Hokage, choosing Namikaze Minato is just a good puppet. You think too simply of Minato, Danzo, you don't really think that when Minato succeeds Hokage, my teacher still has room to intervene, do you? His power will slowly be emptied by Minato. Every person who runs for Hokage has ambition, whether it's you or me, we all have our own goals. And to achieve this goal, you will inevitably not let outsiders intervene. Minato is naturally the same. But whatever we say here is useless, the facts have been decided, and the results cannot be changed. So, tell me, what do you want from me? No one enters here without a reason. I know what you are doing now, all the missing children in the village recently have something to do with you, right? Hearing Denzo say this, a murderous aura erupted directly from Orochimaru's body. There's no need for that, although your strength is good, you can't kill me. State your terms. Orochimaru spoke directly, since Denzo didn't expose his affairs, he must have something to ask him. I need you to research the first Hokage's Keki I Genkai, I want to get wood release. When he said the last two words, a fanatical emotion suddenly flashed in Danzo's pupils. Wood release? It's indeed an interesting subject. Orochimaru's pupils also showed an interested look. But to study wood release, you must first get the body of the first Hokage, that thing, I can't get it. Don't worry, leave these to me, I just need a result. Okay, then it's a deal. In this way, Orochimaru and Danzo reached a series of secret agreements or trades. Chapter 66, The Fourth Hokage To celebrate Minato's succession as the fourth Hokage, a few close friends and family decided to hold a big party at Minato's place. There was Minato's teacher Jiraiya, Minato's student Kakashi, and Satoru was also brought by Kakashi. It was said that there were desserts made by Kushina herself, and Satoru also wanted to taste how good Kushina's craftsmanship was. Congratulations, Minato, being Hokage has always been your dream and now you have finally realized your dream. Jiraiya's face was slightly red, and he raised his glass and said. Thank you, Jiraiya-sensei, if it weren't for teacher Jiraiya's teachings, I wouldn't have been able to become Hokage. Minato said humbly. I didn't expect that one day I could also teach a Hokage, ha ha ha. As he spoke, a lewd smile appeared on Jiraiya's face. Congratulations, Minato-sensei. This was what Kakashi said. Um. Thank you for Kakashi's blessings. Well, really, the food hasn't been served yet, and you're already drunk. At this time, Kushina came out of the kitchen, looking at the slightly red-faced people, and said with a look of resentment. No, 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 I haven't drunk too much. Satoru raised his hand and said, the expression on his face seemed to say I'm good. Satoru this is my first time making desserts, I don't know if it suits your taste, you try it. Then Kushina brought out a baking tray from her hand, on which there were several lumps of black things, and a puff of black smoke was emitting. Um, it's a bit burnt for the first time, it should be okay, Satoru, you taste it quickly. Looking at the dessert getting closer and closer, Satoru's body, along with the stool sitting under his butt, began to retreat unconsciously. No, no, I suddenly remembered that I forgot to turn off the fire at home, I'll go back first. After speaking. Satoru immediately used teleportation to leave Minato's house. Really, is it that scary? Looking at the dessert in front of her, Kushina's tone was a bit depressed. I'll taste it, I think it must be delicious. Minato, who was in a daze, picked up a piece of black stuff and put it in his mouth. There was no change in the expression on his face. Even after swallowing it into his stomach, 
he was still smiling. Um, it's really delicious as expected of Kushina, but don't make it next time. Is it so delicious? Looking at the black stuff, Jiraiya said with some disbelief. Then I'll taste it too. After speaking, Jiraiya directly picked up one and threw it into his mouth. But the next second, Jiraiya's face began to turn black, and his two hands fiercely pinched his throat. Looking at Minato who was still squinting in front of him, he directly gave him a thumbs up, and then fell down. Then, Minato also fell down. Did these two drink too much? Really, if you can't drink, don't drink any more. Kakashi, please help teacher Jiraiya in. I'll take care of Minato. Yes. When Satoru returned home, he was a little scared. He now seriously suspected that if he ate that lump of black stuff, he would not be able to see tomorrow's sun. Kakashi is not coming back, it seems that I can only solve dinner by myself. After another month, the appointment from the Land of Fire finally came down. The daimyo of the Land of Fire has recognized Nami Kaze Minato's ability to lead Kanahagakura village and agreed to his succession as the fourth Hokage. And today is the day Minato takes office. All the villagers of Kanahagakura village gathered on the street to welcome this great and sacred moment. Everyone, whether they had something to do or not, all gathered. The patriarchs of all the clans gathered together, and all the elders of Kanahagakura appeared, with Orochimaru, Tsunade, and Jiraiya all present. At the Hokage building, Nami Kaze Minato stood behind Saratobi Hiruzen. Minato, from today onwards, the heavy responsibility of the Hokage is on your shoulders. I hope you can carry on the will of fire and not let down the villagers' hopes. Saratobi Hiruzen placed the Hokage hat on Nami Kaze Minato's head. I will definitely not disappoint the villagers. Looking at the hopeful expressions on everyone's faces below, Minato knew that this was what he needed to protect in the future. From today onwards, I will succeed as the fourth Hokage. I promise everyone that I will definitely not let you down. Oh. A series of cheers came from the villagers' mouths. They were cheering, cheering that the fourth Hokage was indeed their choice. If Minato takes the position, then the relationship between the villagers and our clan should be adjusted, right? Looking at Nami Kaze Minato, who had taken the position, the head of the Uchiha clan, Uchiha Fugaku, felt a little more settled in his heart. After all, his relationship with Minato is not bad, and his wife's relationship with Minato's wife is very good. If other people succeed as the fourth Hokage, it is very likely that they will continue to suppress the Uchiha clan. It seems that Minato is indeed the people's choice. Narashikaku felt the enthusiasm of the villagers and spoke. Yes, after all, the nickname Little Sun is not for nothing. Yamanaka Inoichi spoke. In front of other ninja villages, Nami Kaze Minato is the yellow flash that makes people tremble, but in front of the villagers of Kanahagakura village, Nami Kaze Minato is the little sun that brings warmth to people. Besides Minato, I can't think of anyone else who is suitable to succeed as Hokage. Akimichi Chauza said vaguely with his mouth full of snacks. He had carried out several missions with Minato, and his heart had long been conquered by Minato's charismatic personality. There are many ninjas who have the same idea as Akimichi Chauza, and there are also many supporters who have seen Nami Kaze Minato's strength in the Third Ninja War and have been saved by Minato. Congratulations, Minato. Kushina looked up at Minato with admiration in her eyes. Her dream was also to become Hokage, although she failed now, but she also became the wife of the Hokage, which can be considered as half of her dream come true. Minato is very suitable for this position, at least more suitable than me. Sakumo, who was next to Satoru, spoke. He looked at Minato, who had a confident smile on his face. He once had the opportunity to stand there. But isn't your life now exactly what father dreams of? At least I feel that father is happier now than before. Yes, this ordinary and common life is a life that I never dared to imagine after becoming a ninja. Our ninja's life is a life that ordinary people dream of, but isn't the life of ordinary people also what some ninjas aspire to? That's true. Now all the major ninja villages in the ninja world know that the Yellow Flash has succeeded as the fourth Hokage. Soon after, Kumagakura also sent out a message that the fourth Reikage had successfully succeeded. In these years, the positions of the shadows of the three major ninja villages have changed, Sunagakura Ninja Village, Kanahagakura Village, Kumagakura. Chapter 67, Holding the Chunin Exam Again The succession of the new Hokage seems to be a fresh start, everything in the village is developing in a good direction. A month after Nami Kaze Minato took office, 
he let Kakashi join the Anbu. The Anbu's tasks can be said to be quite busy, Satoru basically can't see Kakashi's figure now, even if he sees him usually, it's just a brief encounter, and even there is no time to talk. One of the Sunan, Tsunade, and Jiraiya, also left the village one after another. The Third Ninja War, our Kanahagakur ninjas can be said to have suffered heavy losses, the backbone of the force can be said to have lost half in the war, so I decided to hold a Chunin exam to supplement the backbone of our Kanahagakur. In a meeting, Minato proposed seriously. Although Minato usually looks harmless to humans and animals, when Minato's expression becomes serious, it is still very deterrent. Um, we haven't held the Chunin exam for several years, we should really have another one. Saratobi Hiruzen, the third Hokage sitting next to Minato, also agreed with Minato's proposal. But, should we invite other ninja villages to participate in this exam? Mitokato Homura, an elder of Kanahagakur, asked the question. I think we should hold it ourselves, after all, the war has just subsided for a while, and there are many unstable factors. Bringing them in can be said to be inviting wolves into the house. Yudatan Koharu, another elder of Kanahagakur, spoke. I think we should hold a Chunin exam together with all the major ninja villages, because our Kanahagakur also needs to show its fangs to other ninja villages, otherwise, some guys will inevitably think that our Kanahagakur is easy to bully. Namikaze Minato immediately proposed the opposite opinion. I agree too. At this time, Danzo, who had not spoken on the side, also agreed with Minato's proposal. Although he did not succeed as the fourth Hokage, which made him have a big opinion of Minato, but he is still willing to show the strong strength of the village and deter other villages. In that case, let's hold this Chunin exam together with all the major ninja villages. The content of the exam is the same as before, but we need to carefully select the examiners. After all, the examiner also represents the face of our Kanahagakur. When it came to this topic, several people began to discuss, and they all began to recommend suitable candidates in their minds. The examiner for the first exam will be given to Narashikaku, I believe that with his ability, he is fully qualified to be the examiner for the first exam. Namikaze Minato immediately dispatched his own staff, or his own confidant, as his assistant, Namikaze Minato naturally trusts him extremely. Agree, Narashikaku does have this qualification. The third Hokage nodded and spoke. During his tenure, Narashikaku had already shown his talents, and he also played a huge role in the Third Ninja War. Many ninjas from other ninja villages have a shadow of Narashikaku's wisdom. And the examiner for the second test? This person must have enough strength to be able to take on the role, after all, we also need to protect the safety of the genin as much as possible. Although there are always sacrifices in the second test of every Chunin exam, what they need to do is to minimize these sacrifices. The second test will be given to Hayaga Hizashi. With his Byakugan, he should be able to play a full role in the second test, and his strength is not bad, he should also be qualified to serve. After thinking for a while, Mito Homura spoke. Hayaga Hizashi? The younger brother of Hayaga Hayashi? He can do it. The third Hokage nodded. What do you think, Minato? After all, Minato is now the fourth Hokage, and for such a major decision, the final decision-making power is in Minato's hands. No problem. Minato also nodded, although he didn't have much contact with Hayaga Hizashi, but since he is the twin brother of the head of the Hayaga clan, his strength should not be far off. Then next is the most important third test. The examiner of the third test will directly relate to the face of our Kanahagakur village. Yudatan Kohara said solemnly, if there are only ninjas from their own village, then the three examiners can just deal with it casually, but if there are ninjas from other villages participating, it is absolutely impossible to perfunctory. Orochimaru is a good choice. With his name in the ninja world, he can easily deter ninjas from other villages. The third Hokage spoke directly, although he did not choose his own disciple when choosing the fourth Hokage, but he still hopes that such a famous good thing will fall on his disciple's head. No, Orochimaru doesn't have time now. He is currently conducting an important experiment and cannot be disturbed, and I think he himself should also refuse. As soon as the words of the third Hokage fell, Danzo immediately spoke. Then who else can serve as the examiner for the third test, it would be nice if either Jiraiya or Tsunade were in the village. I have a candidate, I wonder what you think of Hitaki Satoru. At this time, Namikaze Minato suddenly thought of his disciple's brother. Although he was a bit drunk on the night he celebrated his succession as Hokage, and his consciousness was a bit blurred, 
but if he didn't see it wrong, when Sator left his house, he should have used a ninjutsu similar to space attribute. The son of White Fang? But isn't his age a bit too young? Can he deter people from other villages? Yudatan Kohara said with some worry. Although Hitaki Satoru is not old, his strength is very strong, and he also has the nickname of White Devil in the Third Ninja War. Whether it is Kumagakura or Kirigakura Ninja Village, there are many shadows against Hitaki Satoru, so I think he should be qualified. Nami Kaze Minato continued to speak. I also think Hitaki Satoru has no problem. Then, the third Hokage also spoke. Since it is something that Hokage-sama has already decided, then we have nothing to say, but I just hope that Hokage-sama's vision is correct. The meeting ended, and the fourth Hokage immediately ordered people to send invitations for the Chunin exam to all the major ninja villages and small ninja villages. Call Hotaki Satoru over. Minato, who was sitting in the office, suddenly spoke. Yes. Then, a man with white hair and a mask appeared in front of Minato, and then immediately used the body flicker technique to leave. At the Hotaki residence. It's not easy to come back once, won't you come in and sit? Satoru, who was lying at home, suddenly felt that familiar aura, and his Rikugan had already seen the other party, and he spoke without turning his head. I'm on a mission now, Hokage-sama is calling you. Chapter 68, Troublemakers, Kill Directly Looking for me? I shouldn't have done anything wrong, right? Hitaki Satoru said with a somewhat surprised tone. Since the end of the war, Satoru has not taken any tasks and has been resting at home. Could it be that because I didn't take on any tasks, they plan to punish me a bit? I don't know, but don't keep Hokage-sama waiting. After speaking, Kakashi used the body flicker technique to leave again. Tisk, when you become Anbu, you don't prioritize your brother anymore. He originally wanted to get some useful information from Kakashi's mouth, but now it seems hopeless. I hope it's a good thing, not a troublesome thing. After tidying up a bit, Satoru went to the Hokage building. Hokage-sama, are you looking for me? Um, the village is going to hold a Chunin exam soon and the village has decided that you will be the examiner for the third test. Nami Kaze Minato went straight to the point and spoke directly. Hearing this, Satoru raised his eyebrows. What, is there a problem? Seeing Satoru not speaking, Nami Kaze Minato asked directly. Isn't it a bit inappropriate for me to be the examiner for this third test? Although his strength is enough, Satoru knows that his age should not be recognized by most people. This is what the third Hokage and I jointly confirmed, and besides you, I can't think of anyone else who is more suitable, White Devil. Hearing this nickname, Satoru grinned. Okay, then I'll take this task. Um, then I'll leave it to you, Satoru. Soon, all the major ninja villages have received the invitation to the Chunin exam from Kanahagakur. Except for Kirigakur Ninja Village, all other ninja villages have responded to Kanahagakur. After all, this time, Kirigakur Ninja Village was pitifully pitted by Kanahagakur, it would be strange if they could come. As time passed, there were more and more new faces in Kanahagakur Village, and in order to prevent these people from making trouble in the village, the Anbu also increased the frequency of patrols, and almost every foreign ninja was monitored by an Anbu. Kanahagakur is really, inviting us to participate in the Chunin exam, and still watching us so strictly, if that's the case, wouldn't it be over if they didn't invite us to participate? A Kumagakur ninja with somewhat dark skin said angrily. Looking at his appearance, it is not difficult to guess that his age is not big, probably only about ten years old, but looking at the determination in his eyes, he should have experienced war, although he may not have been on the battlefield, but at least he has seen war. It's normal, after all, the third war has just ended, and being cautious can ensure that nothing goes wrong. The leading jonin said, if they Kumagakur hold the Chunin exam, they will also strictly monitor the ninjas from other villages. At this moment, he suddenly saw a figure with white hair and an eye mask outside the window in his gaze. That guy. Upon seeing this person, his face immediately became much more serious, and in addition to being serious, there was also a trace of shock and fear. What's wrong, Captain? The several Kumagakur ninjas naturally noticed his abnormality, and looked over along the direction of his gaze. Apart from a person holding a bunch of desserts in his arms, there was nothing unusual. White Devil. These four words slowly came out of his mouth. That guy is actually the White Devil. Several people looked at the face that looked harmless to humans and animals, full of disbelief. 
Um, yes. The leading Kumagakura ninja Jonan said seriously. And Satoru seemed to feel as if he was being stared at by someone. When he looked back, he indeed saw several heads looking at him in front of a window. Hi. Satoru waved at them and greeted them. But the next second, he saw the heads of those people disappear from the window instantly, and even the curtains had been pulled up. Ah, am I that scary? Satoru awkwardly scratched his face and said with some confusion. He found us, what should we do? Although the other party doesn't look very good, but just by appearance to determine a person's strength, is a taboo for ninjas, so they will definitely not underestimate the other party. And their rakage once issued an order, when encountering the white devil, run if you can, surrender if you can't run, as long as you can save your life. What are you panicking about, it's not a war now, we are invited to participate in the Chunin exam, we are their Kanahagakur's guests. Yes, 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 there's nothing to be afraid of, as long as we don't cause trouble in Kanahagakur, there's nothing to be afraid of. As if comforting himself, the words nothing to be afraid of were repeated twice. It seems that there are really a lot of ninjas with bad intentions entering the village. While walking, Satoru paid attention to the people around him. In addition to people showing curious and fearful eyes at him, some people also showed angry and hateful eyes at him. Emergency mission, any ninja who destroys the village piece can be killed immediately. An Anbu teleported to Satoru's side, and after finishing the task content, he left directly. Kill directly? It seems that I really underestimated Nami Kaze Minato's decisiveness and determination before. If the third Hokage is in power now, the order will definitely not be to kill, but to capture alive. Before Nami Kaze Minato succeeded the fourth Hokage, everyone underestimated him. Saratobi Hiruzen used to think that Nami Kaze Minato was a more controllable and controlled person, but in just over a month, his power was about to be emptied, which was completely inconsistent with what he had imagined before. But he has no way out, after all, he is no longer the Hokage, even if he is the former Hokage, his status in the village is not as big as the current Hokage. In these few days, the Anbu have secretly solved many ninjas who caused trouble in the village, and those ninja villages, even if their own ninjas died, they can only hold back, after all, they caused trouble first, they have no reason to trouble Kanahagakur. Hey, kid, hand over the food in your hands, so you can suffer less flesh and blood. At this time, on a small road that must be passed on the way home, three ninjas appeared and surrounded Satoru. Tisk, I didn't expect this kind of thing to happen to me so soon. This is the disadvantage of being young. Although Satoru is wearing the Kanahagakur ninja's forehead protector, no one would consider him a jonin. He's just too young. I didn't expect you Fukuzagakur ninjas to dare to rob our Kanahagakur ninjas. Who gave you the courage, or is someone commanding you in the dark? Stop talking nonsense, quickly hand over all the things on your body. Handing over things is just an excuse, you just want to find a reason to clean me up. Humph, it's good that you know. Ah, it's a pity, you guys chose the wrong target. Satoru stretched out his right hand and just snapped his fingers lightly and the three people who surrounded him immediately disappeared, leaving only three small pits. Chapter 69, Stop at the Point After solving these three bugs, it didn't affect Satoru's mood at all. Now all the Kanahagakur ninjas have received this task, and anyone who causes trouble in Kanahagakur can be executed on the spot. This also allowed some ninjas from other villages to see the iron-blooded methods of Kanahagakur, or the ruthlessness of the fourth Hokage, who didn't care about generating hatred with other villages. But because of this, those who wanted to make trouble quieted down a bit. Minato, what you did is too much this time. The war has just ended, and we shouldn't deepen the hatred with other villages now. Hiruzen said in front of Minato, frowning and speaking earnestly. On the contrary, Third Hokage, only in this way can we prolong the time of peace. Only by showing the strength of the village to the outside world will they not have the heart to provoke war again. But there are already many people who are dissatisfied with our actions. Saratobi Hiruzen didn't expect Minato's attitude to be so firm. If they don't cause trouble in the village, then they are naturally safe. Now this way, it's just their own fault. Minato did nothing wrong. At this time, Danzo also came in and said. In his view of this matter, he and Minato are in agreement. Danzo is a person who will do whatever it takes to make Kanahagakur better, so he appreciates Minato's approach now. For those who endanger the safety of the village, they must be given a bloody lesson, 
so that they know that Kanahagakura is not so easy to provoke. Well, if that's the case, then do as you please. I just hope not to deepen the hatred between the villages. The Chunin exam started as scheduled. The first and second exams had nothing to do with Satoru, so he didn't pay much attention. It wasn't until the third exam came that Satoru appeared on the exam field. Is that the white devil of Kanahagakur? I can't see what's special about him at all. Ninjas from other villages looked at Satoru standing in the middle of the exam field and said, especially Sunagakur Ninja Village and Iwagakur Village, there was a look of contempt for Satoru in their eyes. For them, no matter how powerful a child is, how powerful can he be? They think it's all Kumagakur and Kirigakur Ninja Village exaggerating. And the third rakage also died in the hands of Iwagakur Village, which has already made them look down on Kumagakur. Since there are ten tests, it seems that there are quite a few people taking the exam this time. According to the experience of previous Chunin exams, by the time of the third test, having five matches would already be considered a lot. Now it has doubled. The third test will stop when I said stop. If I find that one side has clearly fallen into a weak position, I will immediately announce the end of the fight. If you continue to attack after the other party has lost their fighting power, don't blame me for being rude. Before the exam, Satoru first clarified the rules of the exam. The third test does not allow death. Because those who can participate in the final round of the exam all have good talents and strengths, they may not necessarily become the backbone of the village in the future. So even if they die, they can't die in the exam. With the fall of Satoru's voice, the first battle of the third test began. The first to appear was a Kanahagakur ninja. There was no family symbol on his body. It seemed that he should be a civilian ninja, and his opponent was a Kumagakur ninja. Seeing these two people, Satoru shook his head slightly, because he had already judged the outcome of this battle through his breath. The Kumagakur ninja definitely has the strength of a Chunin, while the Kanahagakur ninja has just stepped into the Chunin level and is not an opponent at all. Sure enough, in less than ten rounds of fighting, the Kanahagakur ninja was already knocked down by the Kumagakur ninja. Although he did not lose his fighting power, all the spectators could see what the result of this battle was. But the next second, everyone found that the Kumagakur ninja did not intend to stop, but took out a kunao and directly stabbed at the vital point of the Kanahagakur ninja. This deadly blow, even if the Kanahagakur ninja barely dodged it, would be ruined in the future. Seeing this scene, Satoru's figure appeared directly in front of the Kumagakur ninja like a ghost, and directly grabbed the other's kunao with one hand. I said, stop. Didn't you hear what I said just now? Satoru frowned and said, a trace of killing intent emanated from Satoru's body. And the Kumagakur ninja also instantly felt a bone-chilling cold, and his clothes were soaked with cold sweat in an instant, and then with a plop, he knelt in front of Satoru, completely losing his fighting spirit. The first battle, Satoru announced the victory of the Kumagakur ninja. Seeing this scene, the fourth Hokage on the stand also looked ugly. He didn't expect that in the first match, their Kanahagakur ninja lost. Don't worry, we still have people from the Uchiha clan. With their clan's strength to deal with other villages Genin or Chunin, it should be more than enough. It seemed that Minato was in a bad mood, and Narashikako leaned over to his ear and said. Um, I hope they won't let us down. Recently, Minato has also been working hard to ease the relationship between the Uchiha clan and the villagers, but this kind of thing is not something that can be done overnight. It is relatively simple to change a person's impression, but to change a clan's impression, it is a difficult task. And there is also the obstruction of the elders, it seems that they are planning to force the Uchiha clan out of Kanahagakur. Is that the white devil? He made a Chunin lose his fighting power just by his own momentum. The ninjas from other villages, including Iwagakur Ninja and Sunagakur Ninja, have already let go of their contempt. Although some ninjas can indeed make a person lose their will to fight just by their momentum, such ninjas are few and far between, and can be said to be the elite of the elite. I'll say the rules again, the fight stop when I said stop. If you make a life-threatening move, then next time it won't be so simple. Satoru knew that the fight had just ended, and the hatred between the villages could not disappear so quickly. It is also very normal to make a deadly move in a fight. It is said that during the second test, ninjas from various villages had already erupted in a big war, and many people died directly in the second test. It can be said that this year's Chunin exam is the exam with the highest death rate. Even if there are Jonin watching, it is useless. After all, the grudge is between two villages, if another village intervenes, 
it can only deepen the grudges. Chapter 70, Exam Incident About three hours later, the third Chunin exam finally ended. This time, four ninjas from Kanahagakur became Chunin, two from Kumagakur passed, two from Iwagakur village passed, one from Sunagakur ninja village passed, and the last one was a ninja from Kuzagakur. The passing of that Kuzagakur ninja was unexpected to everyone, because he defeated the Sunagakur ninja village among the five major ninja villages in the third test. It is rare for a small ninja village to defeat a large ninja village. But Satoru found a strange chakra on the other person's body, which gave people a very uncomfortable feeling. Just as Minato was about to announce the end of this Chunin exam, a villager sitting in the audience suddenly let out a painful howl, his whole body quickly turned red, and then his body collided, and then his body exploded, and the villagers around were also affected by this explosion. Everyone's eyes were attracted by this movement, and Nami Kaze Minato's face became extremely ugly. Such a change occurred, and someone wanted to slap him in the face in front of all the villagers. However, not only one place had such a thing happen, almost every few seats, a villager would explode. Everyone is not allowed to leave here, check, find out who is the mastermind behind this incident. Fourth Hokage, what do you mean? An Uegakur ninja showed an angry expression on his face. Before you are cleared of suspicion, no one is allowed to leave here. Fourth Hokage, aren't you afraid of causing a war again by doing this? A Kumagakur ninja also spoke. Isn't your current behavior, isn't it causing a war? Looking at Nami Kaze Minato's sharp eyes, the Kumagakur ninja's heart couldn't help but feel a little weak. But what Nami Kaze Minato said was not wrong. Although they don't know who did this kind of thing, which village it is, but such a vicious incident of attacking villagers is no different from causing a war. But, this thing is definitely not done by our Kumagakur ninja. Whether it's you or not, we will naturally give you a clear name after we investigate it clearly. At this time, the Anbu had already appeared, and all the entrances of the audience seats were sealed off, and some people who wanted to forcibly break through were also suppressed by the Anbu. Is it you? At this moment, Satoru suddenly appeared in front of that Kuzagakur ninja and spoke. What are you talking about? Seeing Satoru's sudden appearance, and hearing what Satoru said, a trace of panic appeared in the eyes of the Kuzagakur ninja. Don't hide it anymore, ninjutsu that can make people explode is unheard of, it should be your keki i genkai, right? Satoru put his hand on his shoulder. What are you talking about? I don't understand, what keki i genkai? The other party shook his shoulder, trying to shake off Satoru's hand but Satoru's hand was like a pair of pliers, locking his shoulder tightly. The movement here naturally attracted the attention of people in other places, and several Anbu also immediately surrounded the Kuzagakur ninja in the middle. They felt that Satoru would never do this for no reason, he must have discovered something. What happened? At this time, Minato also rushed over with the body flicker technique, even without using the flying thunder god technique, Minato's speed is not to be underestimated. Hokage-sama is this your Kanahagakur's way of hospitality? If this is the way your Kanahagakur treats guests, then which ninja village would dare to come to your Kanahagakur to participate in the Chunin exam in the future? Before Satoru had time to explain the reason, the other party spoke directly. If it's a guest, we naturally treat them well, but if it's an enemy, it's another matter. I suspect that this explosion is related to him. I saw a special chakra on him, which should be a special keki i genkai. Is it? Are you sure? Nami Kaze Minato looked at the other party's eyes and saw a murderous intent. Even if the other party's age looks only 13 or 14, but doing such a vicious incident has caused casualties to the civilians of Kanahagakur. If the culprit is really him, then he must not be let go anyway. Um, and when those few people exploded, I also noticed that there was a special chakra connecting him and the other party, so there should be no problem. Do you have any evidence? Is it because I am from a small ninja village, you want to find a scapegoat? The other party struggled in Satoru's hands, shouting loudly, and the sound reached the ears of everyone present. You may not know, I am also a keki i genkai holder, and it's in my eyes, so for things that ordinary people can't see, I can see clearly. After saying that, Satoru lifted a corner of the eye mask and revealed an eye that was flowing with fluorescence. Seeing this eye for a moment, the other party immediately froze because he knew that he seemed to have been exposed, and now no matter what sophistry he made, it seemed useless. Then, his body also quickly turned red. Hokage-sama, get out of here quickly. 
Seeing this scene, the Anbio quickly reminded Minato, because this is a precursor to an explosion. But the expected explosion did not happen, but the other party's breath increased a lot, and it has reached the level of Jonan. And the surface of the body also emitted a blood-colored aura. In this blood-colored aura, Satoru also found that special chakra. If this blood-colored aura touches the human body, it will dwell in the human body and can cause an explosion at any time. The other party directly swung his fist at Satoru, but the other party's fist was easily held by one of Satoru's hands. This scene was obviously beyond his expectation, and his eyes were momentarily stunned. Why do you want to do this? Because Kanahagakura's ninjas killed my parents, Kanahagakura's ninjas are my enemies, is it wrong to avenge my parents? The other party's face looked somewhat ferocious, and his tone was also roaring. Hearing this sentence, everyone probably understood the cause of the matter, nothing more than hatred caused by war, and this person is the inheritor of this hatred. It's normal for casualties to occur in war. Satoru spoke. But my parents have already surrendered, but Kanahagakura's ninjas still killed them. They are just ordinary ninjas, and they participated in the war involuntarily, but you, you. Tears have already appeared in the other party's eyes. In theory, after the other party's ninja surrendered, it is possible not to kill, just capture alive, but there will always be a few individual exceptions in every village, including Kanahagakur. I sympathize with your experience, but since you have done this to the villagers of Kanahagakur, we will definitely not forgive you. I didn't plan to go back alive this time, but it's worth taking you, the white devil of Kanahagakur, away before I die. Then, a large amount of blood-colored aura suddenly gushed out of the other party's body, directly wrapping Satoru. Chapter 71, Going to Kumagakur Satoru Hitaki Satoru The fourth Hokage and several ninjas next to Hitaki Satoru all shouted anxiously. It's worth taking the white devil of Kanahagakur away before I die. A ferocious smile appeared on the other party's face. Oh? Do you really think you can kill me with this little trick? Suddenly, Satoru's voice sounded from the blood mist, and then Satoru's figure slowly walked out of the blood mist and appeared in everyone's sight. What? How is it possible? Why didn't my attack work? Seeing Satoru appear in front of him unharmed, the other party's face was full of incredulous expressions and deep shock. An Anbu immediately used a sealing scroll to seal the blood mist aura. These things are useless to Hitaki Satoru, but it does not mean that they are useless to them. Are you okay, Satoru? Namikaze Minato also immediately asked Satoru with concern. Don't worry, Hokage-sama, but how should this guy be dealt with? Although he is also a pitiful person, he has committed an unforgivable mistake by attacking our Kanahagakura people, so, just kill him. Although Namikaze Minato also sympathizes with the other party's experience, his attack this time has caused several villagers in Kanahagakura to be injured or killed. He must give the villagers an explanation. I'm sorry. I'll answer your last question before you die. It's not that your attack didn't work, but your attack didn't touch me at all. After saying that, a blue light ball appeared in front of the other party. The terrifying suction power emanating from the light ball instantly swallowed the other party's body. This scene not only shocked the ninjas from other villages, but even the ninjas from Kanahagakura were shocked. Although everyone knew that Hitaki Satoru was very strong, most of them saw him make a move for the first time. So they were shocked by the ninjutsu displayed by Satoru. It's over, Hokage-sama. Okay. Namikaze Minato nodded, then announced that the Chunin exam had completely ended, and all the ninjas from all villages could now return to their own villages. After the end, Minato called all the Jonin of Kanahagakura village together and held a simple meeting. The pain of war will not be smoothed out so quickly, and the incident of the Chunin exam is a lesson. Namikaze Minato said seriously, although when holding the Chunin exam, he had already thought that someone would take advantage of this time to make trouble, but he did not expect that it would cause such a big trouble. So we must strengthen the patrol of the village, anyone who finds suspicious personnel can be directly arrested, if the other party shows resistance, then they can also be directly killed. Everyone knows that the fourth Hokage is really angry this time. Yes. Now on the streets of Kanahagakura village, you can see Chunin and Jonin wearing vests everywhere. Although the task of village security has always been the work of the Uchiha clan, this time all the ninjas of Kanahagakura must participate. Satoru, there is a task for you. Just as Hitaki Satoru was about to leave, Namikaze Minato suddenly stopped him. What task? 
It's about Kumagakur's compensation to Arkana Hagakur. The compensation has not arrived yet, and Kumagakur Ninja hopes that we Kana Hagakur will send someone to pick it up in person, so I hope you can be this candidate. After all, who knows whether Kumagakur Ninja will cause some other troubles, other ninjas are not strong enough, so I think about it, only you are the most suitable to go. No problem, then leave this task to me. Well, the task level is A level, but you have to be careful, Rakage doesn't seem to be so easy to talk. Understood. Thinking of Rakage's fiery temper, Satoru also knew that this task was not so easy to complete. To let Rakage obediently take out the compensation is tantamount to snatching food from a tiger's mouth. Then you set off as soon as possible, or you can go with the returning Kumagakur ninja. Well, this is a good idea. After leaving the office, after confirming when the Kumagakur ninja would leave, Satoru waited for them at the gate of Kanahagakur early. Yo, we meet again. Seeing several familiar faces with Kumagakur ninja headbands, Satoru greeted them warmly. What do you want to do, you guy? Seeing Satoru, the leading jonin of the Kumagakur ninja immediately became alert, and the rest of the Kumagakur ninja were also tense, ready to attack at any time. Don't be so nervous. I'm not a demon. Seeing the state of several people, Satoru quickly waved his hand. I just want to go to your Kumagakur to ask for the compensation for the three wars, so I plan to go with you, just on the way. Hearing this, the other party's vigilance relaxed slightly. It's also a good idea to protect you along the way, in case you have an accident on the way back, then your rakage will take this as an excuse and not compensate us. Humph, our rakage is not that kind of person. The jonin of the Kumagakur ninja immediately retorted. Who knows, after all, your rakage's fiery temper is well known. Although he has a fiery temper, our rakage is very trustworthy. If he's trustworthy, then he wouldn't have delayed the compensation until now. This sentence directly left the other party speechless, because he couldn't find any facts to refute. They indeed owe Kanahagakur compensation, and he has another task when he led the team to participate in the Chunin exam this time, that is, if he wants to get the compensation, he has to send his own ninja to get it. He also knew that Rakage would definitely make it difficult for the other party. If they want to get the compensation, they will give it, but they will definitely not give it out easily. All right, let's go, with my protection, you should feel honored, after all, not everyone is worth my escort. I think it's more dangerous to be with you. The other party muttered softly, but what he said was clearly heard by Satoru. What did you say? Satoru immediately put his face in front of the other party, and his tone of speech became a bit cold. No, no, nothing, I said it's our honor to have your escort. The Kumagakur ninja immediately said nervously, just now he felt a murderous aura from Satoru, if he said no again, he might not be able to leave Kanahagakur alive. That's right. Satoru's expression changed instantly, and he patted the other party's shoulder with a smile. All right, let's go. Standing at the gate of the village, Satoru directly made a forward gesture. The people from the other ninja villages saw the experience of the Kumagakur ninja, and they couldn't help but mourn for the Kumagakur ninja for three seconds. Walking with the white devil, they would be fine as long as they were not eaten by the devil. Chapter 72, Rakage's Conditions Along the way, the atmosphere was quite tense. The genin and chunin from Kumagakur ninja dared not speak at all, even the jonin was trembling in front of Satoru. Although they were both jonin, there was a huge gap between them. Satoru was among those at the top, perhaps now only characters at the level of the six paths could pose a threat to him. When they were at the border of Land of Hot Water and Land of Moon, Satoru told them how many Kumagakur ninja he had killed here. When they arrived at the Thunder Moon Bridge, Satoru told them how he led the team to destroy the Thunder Moon Bridge and how he successfully left from the hands of the fourth rakage. Every time Satoru recounted these things, their faces would become extremely ugly, but Satoru seemed to not notice at all and spoke for himself. Finally, when they arrived at Kumagakur, they breathed a sigh of relief. So this is Kumagakur? It doesn't look as good as Arkanahagakur. I finally understand why you always want to occupy the territory of other ninja villages. There's really nothing here. Satoru was making sarcastic remarks there. Hey, you, I've been tolerating you all the way, and now we've arrived at our village and you dare to be so presumptuous. Suddenly, a chunin who participated in this exam said, and this chunin was the one who was preparing to kill the Kanahagakur ninja in the first battle. 
Is it because you're back in your village that gives you so much confidence? Sator leaned his face close and said, a terrifying momentum instantly crushed towards the other party. Enough, Hitaki Dano, I will take you to see Reikage Sama. The Jonin said with an ugly face. Well, let's go, I haven't seen your Reikage for a long time. Then, under the other party's lead, Satora followed them to the building of Reikage's office. Dong dong dong. Come in. A deep voice came from inside, hearing this voice, Satora knew that it was undoubtedly Reikage. Reikage sama, I'm back. Hmm, how is it? Reikage looked at the files on the table and asked without raising his head. Two Genin passed the exam. Only two. Hearing this number, Reikage frowned and raised his head, but the next second, he saw the face that left a deep impression on him. Even though he hadn't seen it for nearly two years, Reikage always remembered this face. Then, Reikage suddenly jumped up from his seat, the armor of lightning directly appeared on the surface of his body, and then he rushed towards Satoru with a punch. But his fist was still the same as last time, no matter how much force he used, he couldn't touch the other party when he was about to get close. Long time no see, is this Reikage's way of welcoming. Satoru's mouth curled up, smiling and saying. And this scene directly scared the Jonin silly, he never thought that Lord Reikage would suddenly make a move. What are you doing here? Reikage said with an ugly face, although he had expected this result long ago, but when it happened again, he still felt a sense of powerlessness, or a feeling of nowhere to use his strength. Reikage Sama really forgets things a lot, isn't it you who let us come to get the compensation ourselves? Humph. With a cold snort, AI put down his fist and also dispersed the thunder and lightning armor on his body. Yukonahagakur can be compensated, but there is one condition. What? Defeat me, and you can get your compensation, otherwise, there is nothing. Reikage sama isn't this a bit too much for me? How could I possibly be your opponent? In that case, you go back, there is no compensation for your Kanahagakur. Reikage directly waved his sleeve and turned around to speak. Reikage sama aren't you making it difficult for me? How can I explain to Hokage-sama when I go back? Then there is no way, if you can't defeat me, you can only return empty-handed. Hearing this, Satoru instantly felt targeted, this Reikage just wanted to find an excuse to clean him up, or wanted to fight him again. Are you sure, Reikage-sama? You may not be my opponent. We have to compare to no. Okay, then I agree to your terms. There is no way, in order to complete the task of Kanahagakur, he can only do this. Yes. The Kumagakur ninja Jonin on the side took a breath of cold air, he felt that Hitaki Satoru was completely crazy, how dare he fight Reikage. Then let's start, quick battle, and quick decision. Then, Reikage directly took Satoru to a training ground in Kumagakur, surrounded by rocky cliffs. If you lose, you will be very embarrassed. I can't possibly fail. After speaking, the thunder armor was attached again. Thunder release, Lariat. Reikage directly used his signature move, and the powerful arm strength directly hit Satoru's face. Success. The ninjas watching the battle on the side all saw that Reikage's wrist had already flown Satoru's body. No one can survive a frontal hit from Reikage. But there was no change in Reikage's expression, he could feel that his body did not touch the other party. Damn, does this Keki Ijenkai really have no flaws? Whenever he had free time, Reikage was thinking about how to crack the opponent's Keki Ijenkai, but there was still no clue. He originally wanted to use this battle to find the opponent's flaws again, but he still couldn't find them, he didn't find the conditions for this move to be launched, even his sneak attack couldn't touch the opponent's body. Although it's a bit difficult for me to defeat you, it's impossible for you to defeat me. Satoru, who was hit by Reikage's elbow and flew out, reappeared in front of everyone unharmed. How is it possible? He is not hurt after receiving Reikage Sama's lariat, am I in Genjutsu? A Kumagakur ninja rubbed his eyes. No, that guy did take Reikage Sama's attack head on. Another Kumagakur ninja said with a serious face. The white devil is not so easy to deal with. I don't believe you can use your ninjutsu for a long time. After speaking, Reikage quickly launched an attack again, his body was so fast that it was like a flash of lightning, and the spectators could only see a blue light flashing past. I am no longer the me from two years ago, Reikage. Satoru stretched out his finger, and a red ball appeared. Then a terrifying repulsive force quickly erupted, and Reikage, who was rushing towards Satoru, 
had no time to dodge, and was directly blown away by this terrifying repulsive force. Chapter 73, The Terror of Black Flash This scene directly stunned all the Kumagakura ninjas who were watching. They didn't expect that their Lord Rakage would be blown away in an instant. However, Satoru's attack did not end. In addition to a limitless technique, blue, and red, his Taijutsu was also very terrifying. The moment Rakage flew out, Satoru had already appeared next to Rakage. The chakra gathered in his hand directly punched towards Rakage, but a material similar to black lightning appeared on Satoru's fist. Rakage noticed Satoru's movement and instantly stabilized his body in the air, then swung a punch in the same way. The two fists, one large and one small, directly collided with each other. The impact of the two fists colliding directly forced the spectators around to retreat a few steps. Everyone thought that Satoru would be blown away by Rakage, but the result was that Rakage was blown away again. How is it possible, how could this guy's body have such a terrifying power? Rakage looked at Satoru across from him with a shocked face. Is this brute force the ability of one of the Sunan, Tsunade? No, this move is called Black Flash. You won't understand if I explain it to you, but you can simply understand it as the ability to increase your own power in an instant, that is, a critical hit. In the Cursed Technique battle, Gojo Satoru will definitely use Black Flash, and even continuous Black Flash can be done. After all, he who has Rikugan can accurately control the curse power. As for why the highest record of Black Flash is not Gojo Satoru, he feels that no curse spirit can withstand a Black Flash from Gojo Satoru. Even if it is a special grade curse power of the level of Yago, Gojo Satoru has already abused the opponent with ordinary Taijutsu. If you use Black Flash, it is estimated that a hit can waste Yago. In plain terms, it is to use a special technique to strengthen your own attack in an instant. Hey, kid, do you think that the power obtained through shortcuts can defeat me who has strong power? The chakra on Rakage's body erupted again, and his hair had already exploded. Why don't you try it? Black Flash is an ability that Satoru has been studying for a long time, in order to cope with this situation. Although his essence can be said to be a mage, sometimes he still yearns for the battle of warriors. In terms of speed, no one can compare with Satoru who has mastered blue, so Satoru only needs to focus on improving his strength. But Satoru's physique is there, even if he keeps working hard to exercise, there is a limit. And Satoru also knows a few ways to increase strength. One is Tsunade's brute force. This is very simple. As long as you have precise control of chakra, you can easily master it. The other is the eight inner gates, but it is very difficult to master the eight inner gates. With Satoru's current physique, he can't open a few doors at all. But Satoru did not give up learning the eight inner gates. After all, it is a pity not to learn such a powerful Taijutsu. Moreover, he is proficient in reverse technique which can completely repair the damage to the body. That is to say, even if Satoru opens the gate of death, there will be no problem. The other way is the black flash in the cursed technique lapse world, which can cause critical hit damage. The essence of black flash is the spatial distortion produced when the error between physical impact and curse power impact is within 0.000001 seconds. The power is even 2.5 times the power of a normal attack, which is much larger than the increase of brute force. You know, 2.5 times is not 2.5 times, the larger your base number, the greater the power of Black Flash. This is also the reason why Satoru was able to repel Rakage. Rakage once again erupted with extreme speed, almost reaching Satoru's face in the blink of an eye, and his fist directly hit Satoru's face, but his attack was still the same as usual, it stopped. But Satoru's fist will not stop, directly hitting Rakage's abdomen, and you can see a surge of energy piercing through Rakage's back. The intense pain instantly swept through Rakage's internal organs, and a stream of blood was directly sprayed from Rakage's mouth. It's not over yet, Rakage. Just as Satoru was about to swing another punch, he suddenly felt his fist being held by Rakage's other arm. In this case, I have already touched you, right? Rakage's voice rang in front of Satoru. Holding Satoru's fist, Rakage once again swung a punch at Satoru's body, but the result was still the same as usual. What? Rakage incredulously widened his eyes, his other hand had obviously touched the other party. Rakage, you are too naive, the infinity between us is everywhere, you touch me, it does not mean that you have broken the infinity between us, but I deliberately let you touch me. With the fall of Satoru's voice, Rakage instantly felt a strong resistance coming from his other hand, 
this resistance was forcibly separating the hand he was touching with Satoru. Black Flash A material similar to black lightning appeared on Satoru's hand again, and a punch was swung out, and Rakage was instantly blown away more than 10 meters away. Rakage, who fell on the ground, directly coughed up several mouthfuls of blood. Rakage Sama At this time, the surrounding Kumagakur ninjas who were watching the battle finally couldn't stand it, and they surrounded Rakage one after another and their eyes were vigilantly watching Satoru. They didn't expect that Lord Rakage would be beaten by the other party. The other party's body seemed to have not suffered any damage at all. And what they didn't notice was that Satoru's left and right had already appeared twisted. Rakage script just now almost crushed Satoru's hand, but it was immediately restored to its original state with the reverse technique. Do you want to continue, Rakage? Although I can't defeat you, you should be clear that you can't win me at all. Hearing this, Rakage was a bit silent, and he couldn't feel the sense of powerlessness without fighting the opponent himself. However, just as Rakage was about to speak, Satoru suddenly saw a huge tentacle attacking him from behind. Black Flash Satoru quickly turned around and punched the huge tentacle that was coming towards him. In an instant, at the moment of collision with the fist, the tentacle was directly shattered. Big Brother At this time, a figure also jumped over Satoru's head and jumped to Rakage's front. The person who came was the Eight Tails Jinchuriki of the Kumagakur Ninja, Killer B, and the tentacle that Satoru had just shattered was the Eight Tails Tentacle. Big Brother, are you okay? I'm fine. Is it this guy who hurt you? B looked at Satoru in front of him with a serious face. Through the blow just now, he already knew how terrifying the energy contained in the body of the white-haired boy in front of him. B, be careful, this guy gives me a very dangerous feeling. At this moment, the eight tails inside Killer B suddenly spoke. What, are you Kumagakur planning to fight in turns? If so, then I don't mind indulging a bit. Chapter 74, Encounter with Jiraiya Stop, B. Just as Killer B was about to make a move on Satoru, he was suddenly stopped by Rakage. Let's end this battle here, I will give you the compensation that Kanahagakur deserves. In the end, Rakage still compromised because he knew that Satoru had not used all his strength, at least he had not used the ninjutsu with terrifying gravity that he used in the last battle with him. And if there is no way to break the opponent's Kekiai Genkai, any attack is useless. That's right, wouldn't it be better if you did this earlier, Rakage? A smile appeared on Satoru's face instantly. If Satoru were to learn to change faces, he would definitely be talented. Now Kumagakura's attitude towards Satoru is like treating a plague god, the compensation will be done quickly, as if they can't wait for Satoru to leave. And through this battle, their inner fear of Satoru has increased a bit. Seeing Rakage's fate, they now stand in front of Satoru, and they no longer have the courage to do it. Big Brother, A Tails says that guy is dangerous. After receiving the compensation, Satoru left Kumagakur, and Killer B said to Rakage with a serious face. Killer B put away his usual giggling appearance, and the existence that can be called dangerous by the tail beast is definitely not an ordinary person. I know, that guy has a Kekiai Genkai that isolates all attacks. If there is no way to crack that Kekiai Genkai, then he will always stand undefeated. Isolate all attacks? I don't know if the tail beast bomb can break it. I don't know, but you can try it next time. Now Rakage can be said to hate Satoru to the extreme, not only did Satoru successfully take away Kanahagakura's compensation, but also lost such a big face in front of the ninjas in the village. Okay, when there is a chance, I must give him a super large tailed beast bomb. What Satoru didn't know was that he had been completely targeted by the Rakage brothers. Send someone to put a bounty on him in the black market, and set the bounty at 50 million ryo. Yes, Rakage Sama. The Kumagakur ninja immediately operated. And they also spread the news that Satoru was carrying a huge amount of supplies. They absolutely did not allow Satoru to bring the compensation back to Kanahagakur so simply. And for the fact that he has been rewarded on the black market, Satoru doesn't know at all. Because he was not in a hurry to travel, so Satoru slowly walked into the village, and it was not until the tenth day that Satoru arrived at Land of Hot Water. Land of Hot Water, I can rest here. Although Satoru has been in Land of Hot Water for a long time, he has never found a suitable opportunity to experience the Izumi culture here. Now Satoru will naturally not miss this good opportunity. He found the largest hot spring, and Satoru went in. The moment he soaked in the pool, Satoru instantly felt that his whole body was comfortable. 
comfortable. Sator leaned on a rock and enjoyed this rare experience. Wow, this is so big. Wow, that's so white. Wow, that's so round. At this moment, a lewd voice suddenly reached Satora's ears. Satora focused for a moment and found a white-haired lewd man standing at the highest point of the onsen holding a telescope and looking across. At a glance, Satora recognized who this guy was. Apart from that pervert, no one could do such a thing. Then, as if Satora thought of something interesting, a smirk appeared at the corner of his mouth. There's a pervert on the, the men's bath. Satora changed his voice and screamed in a woman's voice. For a while, all the girls on the opposite side were attracted to the onsen. Sure enough, they saw a white-haired man with a nosebleed using a telescope to peep in the direction of their women's bath. Suddenly, all kinds of things that could be used as weapons were thrown over from the opposite side. Soap, towels, bathtubs, and even Satoru saw a stone flying out. Are the girls on the opposite side really ordinary people? Satoru clearly saw that there was no chakra in those girls, but they could move a stone and their strength was not to be underestimated. Then, the pig-killing screams also came directly from the men's bath, after all, many innocent people were also affected. Satora didn't plan to soak any more. Hey, kid, was it you who shouted just now? At this time, Jiraiya appeared next to Satora from nowhere, looking at Satora with resentful eyes. What is Jiraiya-sama talking about, I don't understand it. Do you know me? Oh, I remember. You are Kakashi's brother, don't quibble anymore, it's you, you little stinker, your bad character has long been told to us by Kakashi, besides you, who else can do such a thing? Do you have any evidence, Jiraiya-sama? Evidence? I, the great toad sage Jiraiya-sama, need evidence to identify you? But what are you doing in land of hot water? Could it be that you are also here to collect materials? Jiraiya said curiously. No. I just happened to pass by here to complete the task, and I happened to meet Jiraiya-sama here, but I didn't expect that Jiraiya-sama was doing such a vulgar thing as peeping. How can that be called peeping, that's called collecting materials, it's an indispensable step to complete the masterpiece of my dreams. Jiraiya spoke with some excitement, as if he was accomplishing a great and incredible thing. Then, a novel appeared in Jiraiya's hand at some point, and Satoru immediately recognized what was written on the cover, Ika Ika Paradise Part 1. How about it, do you want to appreciate my masterpiece? Jiraiya shook the novel in his hand in front of Satoru, as if he was tempting Satoru. Forget it, I'm not interested in this kind of novel. Tsk. Jiraiya's enthusiasm just now disappeared immediately. You really don't know the goods, you know, your brother really likes my novel, and the limited edition I personally wrote has been collected by your brother at a high price. Kakashi is reading this kind of novel now. Satoru was shocked. He didn't expect Kakashi to be so introverted now. What do you mean by this kind of novel, you little devil can't speak, this is called art. Jiraiya spoke excitedly, as if Satoru's words were tarnishing his work. Okay, okay, this is art, if Tsunade-sama knows how Jiraiya-sama collects materials, maybe Jiraiya-sama will have to talk about art with the god of death. You little devil really good at speaking, I was going to kindly remind you of something, but now it seems, forget it. After speaking, Jiraiya turned around and glanced at Satoru with the corner of his eye. He knew very well what it felt like when someone else spoke half of their words, so he felt that Satoru would definitely soften up and let him say it later. Chapter 75, High Bounty in the Black Market Oh, forget it. Satoru naturally understood what Jiraiya was thinking, and didn't give Jiraiya a chance to play at all, and directly turned around and left. Ah, this. This change directly stunned Jiraiya which was completely different from the scene he had thought of in his mind. Forget it, I'll tell you anyway, you little devil are even less cute than Kakashi. Kanahagakur Ninja Hataki Satoru, black market bounty of 50 million ryo, this bounty has reached the level of each village's cage. Is there really 50 million ryo? I didn't expect that I am already so valuable. Satoru vaguely remembered that in the original work, Saratobi Asuma's bounty was only 35 million ryo, and he also had the identity of being the son of the third Hokage, otherwise he might not have such a high bounty. Who hates you so much, and gives you such a high bounty? It might be the fourth Reikage. After all, when I went to Kumagaku this time, I make him lost a big face in front of the villagers. Apart from the fourth Reikage, Satoru couldn't think of who else had such a big hatred for him. You? 
can you do that to the fourth rakage? But I still want to remind you that you should pay more attention recently, many people have already targeted you, after all, your current bounty is too high, although you have the title of white demon, but most people will look down on your age. Don't worry, no one can kill me, because I, am very strong. An arrogant smile appeared on Satoru's face. Are you really the son of White Fang? Hearing Satoru's tone, Jiraiya directly put his head to Satoru's face and looked carefully. White Fang wouldn't be as arrogant as you, he is very low-key. Because I'm telling the truth, even if you, Jiraiya-sama, may not be my opponent, even if you use sage mode. Hearing this sentence, Jiraiya's face immediately changed, and it became much more serious in an instant. How do you know that I can use sage mode? Who knows, maybe my past life told me. After speaking, Satoru turned around and waved his hand, and left directly. What an interesting little devil, it seems that there are a lot of secrets on him. Jiraiya's eyes showed a touch of interest. It's really an unexpected gain, I didn't expect to meet Jiraiya here, but I was offered such a high amount in the black market, Rikage is really a small-minded person. The high bounty of Hitaki Satoru naturally caused a sensation in the black market. Although many people had heard of the title of White Demon, age is always an important factor in observing a person. They don't believe how strong Hitaki Satoru's strength can be, they always think it's a rumor, it's for Kanahagakur to package another person like Kanahagakur White Fang. So many people have already taken an interest in Hitaki Satoru, a person with 50 million Ryo, and not a shadow, this kind of business is profitable no matter how you look at it. This guy is my prey. A man with a fierce face looked at Satoru's bounty order, and a wild expression appeared on his face. Hey, believe it or not, I'll kill you first. Come on, if you can do it, just try it. Soon, a big battle broke out in an underground black market because of Hitaki Satoru's ownership, but some smart people had quietly gone to find Hitaki Satoru. What a bunch of idiots. Seeing such a chaotic black market, the Kumagakur ninja who issued the task muttered to himself, a person who could defeat the fourth rakage, how could it be so easy to deal with, they now completely imagined Hitaki Satoru as a soft persimmon. I hope that by then, there will still be a few of you who can come back alive. He knew that the white devil was not a kind-hearted master, otherwise he would not get the terrifying nickname of the devil, and there were very few ninjas who could survive under the white devil. After resting in land of hot water for a day, Satoru was ready to set off again, but at this time, a follower appeared behind Satoru, it was Jiraiya. Jiraiya-sama, what are you following me for? Walking on a small road, Satoru stopped and spoke to the surrounding open environment. Who is following you, it's just that I happen to be on your way. At this time, Jiraiya also suddenly appeared next to Satoru. Is it? That's really a coincidence. But how did you find me, your perception is too sensitive, isn't it? Jiraiya asked curiously, even an ordinary jonin could not find his footprints. Jiraiya-sama should know that I have Kekiai Genkai, so it's not difficult for me to find Jiraiya's whereabouts. Satoru showed his eyes to Jiraiya. It looks a bit like Byakugan. Jiraiya observed for a while and said. Well, I also have the ability of Byakugan. Doesn't that mean that you have already peeped at the women's bath that day? Jiraiya's hands directly gripped Satoru's shoulders tightly, and he spoke crazily, and his face looked very crazy. Well you can say that. Satoru scratched his face awkwardly, and said a little embarrassed. Damn it, why don't I have such a Kekiai Genkai? Tears flowed out of Jiraiya's eyes like a river, and his heart was full of regret. Why didn't he have such a special Kekiai Genkai? Uh, this might have to depend on fate, some things can't be forced, so Jiraiya-sama, just give up. Damn it, only this point, I absolutely won't give up. The next second, Jiraiya instantly changed his fighting spirit, and his eyes were spraying flames. Satoru, sell your eyes to me, no matter how much money. Hearing this, Satoru's face directly showed a helpless expression. Jiraiya-sama, you should give up this idea as soon as possible, instead of focusing on my eyes, it is better to focus on the Byakugan of the Hayaga clan, so Jiraiya's chances are relatively large, after all, the Byakugan of the Hayaga clan can be said to be very many. The stubborn old people of the Hayaga family will definitely not give it. Then I won't give it either, but Jiraiya-sama, you can go to Orochimaru-sama to try, maybe with Orochimaru-sama's scientific research ability, he can help you research a pair of eyes that can see through. Hearing this, Jiraiya's eyes flashed with gold. 
You're right, I'll try it now. After speaking, Jiraiya immediately disappeared using the body flicker technique. Tisk, knowing that he's in trouble, so he runs really fast. Satoru scratched his hair, and now his surroundings were full of people. When Jiraiya disappeared, all these people came out. Satoru now seriously suspects that Jiraiya is just troublesome, so he left now. Thanks for listening.